for the first game. What uh, what are we looking at here? Well, let's check out actually those semifinal matchups one more time. We got Valhalla versus War US first up. Now the maps for the semifinals are going to be uh, in order, best of seven here. Let's check out those maps for the semifinals. In order, Sky, Station, Talensk, Ship, Area, Village, CTD. We're running through the whole gambit here. Guys, your stream's not going through. We can't hear you. Yeah, now it is. Yes, it is. Now the sound is in, yep. So it was muted the entire time? It was muted, so uh, bad. we have to start over. And I just asked, <laughs> uh, I asked our audience with some legends in here, Canadian MEA and SK, all of them in here, oh, and shit. they could not hear us. So bad, you have oh, to start no. over. And it was a pretty get, good mm -hmm. damn start. Fucking talent. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay here you we have go. To go over. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Rewind. Welcome back to the Crucible. Round two, take two. It takes us two to get through here. We yes. are in the semifinals and finals match. Welcome to the final week. Here we go. We got Dory for the third time in the booth. The legend Dory. We got Hugo helping yo, out. Yo, and yo, I yo, am that star. How you guys doing tonight? Second time round. Here we go. Dory, how you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm great. I'm excited. Last week we had... A uh, little bit of a vacation, no games. Uh, we had good reasons for it, so I'm happy to be here today after two weeks. Uh, we have some big games coming up, the final four, and I already see we have 40 people watching us. So hello, everyone. Uh, happy Absolutely. to be here. Happy to announce good games and talk about it. And yeah, let's Beautiful. keep it going. And we have some people asking for Laz. Much love to Laz. Where is Laz tonight, Hugo? Why the hell isn't he here? He's being a bitch, honestly. No, I'm just kidding. He's, um, he is the captain of 300, and uh, he's very susceptible to guilt that the, um, that the 300 squad is able to give him. So he is concentrating all on that team. Tonight. I think they've been missing him. Yeah, they have. They have. He's a big part of part of the uh, the structure of that team. He's a heart and soul of that thing. He makes it. He makes it run. Um, Absolutely. And, you know, and we, having having him back is is huge for that team. Absolutely. We they need him. They need him. That's okay. Exactly. So Lass made a, a decision. Today is game time. Game on. They if they want to win this thing, they have to beat SM first, and whoever's going to win in the first matchup. That star is gonna bad is going uh, through, I guess now, and just tell us uh, what can we expect today, bro? <laughs> Absolutely, you know, Dora, we've come a long way, and now that everyone can hear us, uh, we've come a long way, as you can see with all those group stages. We had, you know, six groups, is three each, eighteen teams, and we're down to th four teams left. Now, everybody who got eliminated did get some gold here. Uh, the, the at the first round loss, they got forty k gold. Second, uh, first round of the single elimination got 50k gold, and the quarterfinals got 70k gold each. So it's really nice for all the teams that are coming in. But let's check out where we're at in the current bracket. We are down to those semifinals. We're looking at Valhalla, War US, and 300 OG versus SM. Now, all of these teams uh, uh, are going to be getting gold, but let's check out the schedule first. I mean, we went through this, but now you can hear me. Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, obviously, we're a little bit after that. We're going to be getting started momentarily with the first match with Valhalla War US. By the way, that's an 8, Frank, with the daily savings time. Um, and then we're going to immediately follow with 300 OG versus SM for the second semifinals. And then the losers of those two matches will play a third-place decider. Uh, and then the finals, finally, after that. So uh, all of these teams are actually going to be getting gold, and that's why we're actually going to be having that third-place decider because third place gets 150 and fourth gets 100K. Obviously, second gets 300K, and first, as we go, round two gets a half a million gold. It's, uh, it's unprecedented. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing, a ton of gold, uh, really great. Let's check out this, uh, again, the semifinal matchups. These are going to be the matches first. Valhalla versus War US. Now, what maps are they going to be playing? Both semifinal matches are going to be playing the same map. Sky Station, Talensk Ship, Area, Village, CTD. In that order. Going through the gauntlet. Here we go. That's a good lineup, dude. 
And we're focusing on our first match here. Well, let's talk about Valhalla versus War US. Dory, what do you think about this? Hugo, what do you think? Well, um, let me go first right here because those are my my buddies from. Those are your people. Actually, the those are yeah. I mean, I think I, I consider all of the tactical people as my people, but in this case, this is actually the last and only one um, European team that is still in the tournament. If I'm not misunder. Uh, that is correct. Something. And well, they are definitely um, a top team. Uh, they showed it in the rounds before. They show it every night I play against them. And I hope they're coming up with something special because War US, from what I've seen, from what I know, not playing them as much as I would like to, but those are some, some two big top teams that are going at each other. I'm really, really excited to see what's going to happen here. And, uh, well, Hugo, what do you think? All I know is that when I squat up and I look at the opposing team and I see war on every single tag, Drugs Bunny, 11, Griezmann, Trip, Youth, I know I'm losing. I know, I'm losing, I'm, I know I'm losing that game. And I, 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 yeah, so I'm mean, like, hey, if I get the bag, that's a win. If I, if I kill at least one or two of them, that's a win for me. I honestly, I honestly can't say enough about the war team. Uh, me, and, uh, me and my buddy Aries here, um, we have a little wager going about who's going to take the finals. You, can, yeah. you know well, it's. Hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. I, I have to say, I have to say, I'm picking war. Yeah. I'm picking war. Picking My money's on war. Yeah, war, war. Against and the top seed. I like it. I do, I do. And um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to have $500 me and Aries have. And I know my 300 boys are going to you know, kick my ass. <laughs> but I'm, let's see. Let's see if they 300 can rise to the occasion if, they got, if these guys meet in the finals. Yeah, I don't let know. Me, let yeah. me let me add something right here, real quick, before um, bad is continuing. I think both teams totally deserve to be here. So it's going to be a fantastic matchup. I'm I'm very excited for this one, and it's always as I see as in, in this game is uh, key having the bag, grabbing the bag first. Valhalla is doing an amazing, one of the best teams I have seen defending in the bag. Uh, the question is if they are not having the bag from the beginning, if they can manage to take the bag from war. This is uh, kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, would be nice. I'm looking uh, at the YouTube comments that we have, so maybe you guys. Let us know. What do you think? Who do you get? Valhalla or War US? Matt, it's your turn now, bro. <laughs> Absolutely. I just want to jump on to Valhalla just to really reiterate. Uh, it, it's it's tough to play on a foreign server, you know, something that you're not used to. And so it really speaks to the talent and the organization of that squad to be able to hang in there uh, on these US servers. So it's exciting. And we are going to be looking to queue up this in a minute. Uh, as we get going here, Valhalla, the first ranked seed against the fourth ranked War US. But honestly, it's a toss up. I really don't know who to go with either. They are both monsters on the field. This is one of those games uh, of the night that it could decide this tournament. I totally agree. And hey, we're only a couple minutes away. Um, I just want to say real quick, we've got other gold giveaway too. Um, we've got, we've got 10, we got 10 prize packs, each of 27,000 gold. Now, five of those are already going to be, uh, they're already designated for the top performers on the stat sheet made by, uh, our very own Papa from, uh, from the SM. The other five are going to be given away throughout this, um, throughout these, these four games. So what I'm, what I'm going to say to you guys watching at home and uh, watching the YouTube stream, I want you guys to uh, I want you guys to vote. I want, um, we've got one MVP for the finals, and the rest is the most fantastic play uh, of uh, what you see. So you guys, you guys are going to tell us who's going to win those prize packs. Okay, we got five, we got five, four to give out for fantastic play, and one MVP. So, so let's get this thing on the road, though. You guys, beautiful. Ready? Let's get rolling. We're ready. All right, all right, all right. Hey, um, Dory, Dory, tell me what to expect for this first map. Well, Sky. I def- Sky is our I, first. It's going to be Sky, and I definitely expect, um, you know, Valhalla not playing on the home server, which is never an excuse. They knew what they...
not hearing anything. Oh, it looks like maybe Dory got cut off. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know if that was me. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, that was <laughs> <laughs> here we go. All We're right. getting on first, to loading first the first game, first match of the night. I can't wait. Sky, I don't know. Sky it seems to be cursed sometimes. I don't know if what for you, Hugo. I just lag on that that match. It's still one of my favorite maps, though. I really love Sky. Yeah, man. Uh, Sky is one of my favorites. Uh, I love the small maps because uh, I'm a shot. I, I love my shoddy. Uh, you know, um, that Chen Li is so prevalent. So I put I put a shoddy on a on a on a snack. I don't have to use adrenaline. I got uh, grenades and mm. and lamors. Um, I think it's real you know, curious. I mean, obviously, there's a couple things that they could do right off of the bat. Some people like to go in front door right away, blow the doors, get out in and out real quick. Other people like to, you know, counter that, you know, with maybe an MGL or some rockets, RBG or some shield or busting in with some smoke. Other people like to counter that, you know, come around back door, split it up a little bit. I'm real curious what uh, what War US is going to do here as well as Valhalla. Uh, they're both real innovative teams, but just streamline organize synergize mm -hmm. while it's yeah out. i'm back don't you guys worry can you hear me wow uh, dory is back we got worried for a second and didn't know if you got choked <laughs> oh, on some sushi. i'm in here and all yeah, some sushi. Guys, we have one uh tactical legend in here with the one of the best comments of tonight dory's internet took the first l <laughs> exactly <laughs> but i'm yeah. back guys i'm back don't dory worry takes I'm, the first I'm l Okay, guys, um, I'm back. I'm curious what's going to happen. Uh, we are in the queue, kind of waiting for the game to start. So I know we are a little late. Uh, yep, we're just start, waiting for those but... squads to start up. Yep. We're going with Sky. Do you predict any certain strategies going into this from either of these teams? You're a little bit more familiar with Valhalla and War US, probably. I think, as Hugo was saying, uh, War US, Valhalla, that little vowel after the name strikes fear into most people, but I know it doesn't strike fear into an Onyx person in Dory, that it just riles them up that here we go. And we are starting first match. Woo! Let's go, semifinals, War US, Valhalla. Let's see what the bag grab is. Let's see what this bag grab is, baby. Okay, we can see that uh, War is going for the back straight away. There's nobody in the middle. Basically, Val staying back, but War secured the back. Pretty easy, actually, in here, don't you think? Yeah, yeah I will surprise this up, but it looks like maybe they're trying to set up for something here. Mm. Well, okay, that's the point that I was talking about. It Wall is not having the bag from the start. Let's see what they can do. We have Nicholas with his dangerous Dutch AR loadout waiting for the team to group up. And they're coming from the right. It looks like they're going to push now from the right. Settling up some missile defensives. Four guys on the right. Let's see what they can do here. Yeah, War seems to be bunched up there. Uh, which is interesting, but it, it, it makes them a strong defense. They got missile defenses, uh, but they also susceptible to a strong push here, so we'll see what Val capitalizes on that. Well, it looks like a good fight, but War can handle those guys at the moment. Uh, Grimlock, Ika, and Crazy down. Nicholas still alive with AR, but he's about to go down or wait for the rest to come. He can't do much, or he's still alive, but he can't do much uh, by himself. He's saddling up those missile defenses, and we see as a supporter they are is uh, pretty damn good. I could feel it the whole last week. And let's see, War is doing a good job defending those guys. Defending Smart the to move that bag left on that. They, I think somebody ran over a friendly lame or took him out coming in, and they moved it left wisely. Well, again, three Valhalla guys down. It seems not to be too easy to get through that defense, uh, but as we know, this is an experimental mode. Like, it takes us a few seconds to get the bag in position and get back to the base, so it's never too late to do anything. So far, War has total control, in my opinion, here. Absolutely. And, you know, the score reflects that a little bit, but it really is just about uh, positioning, I think. Okay, Real that looks like a pretty... Good push right here, but unfortunately two mines taking down their own guys, one of them. 
The yeah, Gremlin's minute 30, mine. Yeah. Yeah. Minute 30 left, let's see what happens here. And also, hey, um, if anybody can uh, pick out who gets uh, drilled by Harold in this game, I will give them a, a, a small prize pack out of my own wallet. <laughs> can I also participate in that one? No. Yeah, no they no, have to give you gold. Okay, this is going to be another push here from Val. Let's see how this is going down. Uh, War is doing a pretty good job. The bag is taken down. down. Is down. Oh, they got it. Oh, no, Ika secures that it. bag. Amazing. Great help. Great help. Yeah, good job. They're pushing the bag. As a team, Crazy was helping with the Diana SMG. One of my favorite loadouts. And I'm telling you guys, now it's uh, basically it's what we expected. Awesome. Yeah, Vod is gonna do a pretty damn good job in holding the bag. And let's see if War can uh, handle that. Yeah, but the professionalism of these teams, these teams don't get rattled. They've been through this before, being down 30 seconds. They'll pick their spot. I can guarantee that there's gonna be something interesting coming up here. Yeah, with that new era experimental extension of the game, I think it was the smart thing to do for Panzer Dog and Tactical, just for the game in general. Oh. Yeah. Ten seconds. Come back. Ten seconds. Here we go. And there's one of the shields that Valhalla is doing such a great job. And, oh, they gotta do it. Um, the bomb is doing. I mentioned it so many times before, but he's gonna be down. Oh, he's gonna be down. Three more guys are taking the bag. They don't even have to run back. They can just go into the corner. Watch out for mines. He's gonna die. He might die. No. Oh no. That was. Uh, that was the wow. held out right here. Good wow. job. Alright, yeah. alright. Nice organized push there with War, just kind of showing their, their talents and being able to secure the bag even when they're down a little bit, um, coming coming back with the bag steal. Ika and Crazy, though, great job on that bag steal, taking down the, the really highly fortified defense of the War US squad. I mean, they're doing an interesting job. You know, a lot of the times... Um, <clears throat> a lot of times you want to spread out, you know, and be able to cover all the bases, but War US is so good, and they just hunkered down on that fortified small area. It just didn't let them come in. What do you think about that, Dory? Is that unique? Is that something that you see from these real tip-top squads, that you see them kind of do that a little bit more? Or is it well, uh, more spread out? I think, I think like, um, experienced uh, teams um, are being really patient at some some moments it's all about the right timing seeing who is down how many people are down when you should stay back when you should push and actually uh, val did a good job in uh, getting this back uh, as a team uh, nicholas was waiting and they saw two down and they kept pushing uh, but they did never really mm, manage to settle up their defense right there mm -hmm. bomb already had the moses shield out which he's amazing with um but unfortunately it it was not enough to keep the bag. So, yeah, I mean, mm. that was actually a pretty good game. I mean, um, I was, was a little bit surprised that Val did not go for the bag at the start. So it was pretty much an easy job. I did not see what happened exactly. But, I mean, I think we can expect some really nice more games in this series. Yeah, absolutely. And I believe we have Station coming up next. Yeah, I was surprised too. I mean, not surprised, but I was waiting for um, Vol to be able to set up. They just didn't have the chance. War US capitalized on that. You know, even if Grimlock was able to get a couple of those mines down, I mean, I know he took one person out. Um, we'll see what happens in this next one. It really is a toss up. Now we're going to be looking, uh, Dory, for uh, key plays in this match, in this series. Uh, if we see anything that is worthy of a prize pack, we, we can give that out. And that's 27K gold to that person. So we're gonna be oh, so we're gonna be assessing that at the end of the match here. Yeah, Hugo now set, and so we got some power here. I'm excited. <laughs> I didn't know that, but well, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna keep my eyes open for those. Uh, how do you say it? Uh, key matchups or key plays? Absolutely. I'll do that. No worries. And we get and that person is gonna get 27k gold. Yeah, 27k apparently. gold. Apparently, we could do that a few different times. You said 10 times? I don't know if I believe you, Hugo. No, 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 no. Five, five, five times, four five times. games. Thank four, you. One MVP, we need to vote for, and then four outstanding plays. Okay. Um, I mean, that's a great team play that I saw at, uh, at the end. They got the bag in the last 
second of the game. So well, I mean, well, well, well. Hold on, Hugo, because okay, okay. Um, War War had a pretty big lead of points. So even though the time would have been go to zero, we still would have go to overtime. So there was uh, lots of time. Uh, you know, so there was not the last my, second. These are why my team loses sometimes because I don't watch the clock. <laughs> I yeah, score. I mean it's kind of it's important <laughs> to understand the rules, bro. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that's on the YouTube chat right now is the this the, the subject of bans. Now, Iron Forge went to go no bans on this, and I know that not every tournament does that. You know, typically mm. may, the usual critique is that you know they have a new operator or something, and not everybody has it, and it's pay to play and all this stuff. But we went no bans, no bar, uh, no holds bar here. Uh, I like that we're doing this. It it is tougher in some ways, but. And so it's it's a back and forth debate, you know. How much have you guys heard about this, Dory? What do you think about the bans debate? Oh, it's it's pretty hard to take any kind of side in this one. Um, I kind of really do like playing without bans, but this comes from a person that actually, I mean, I'm I'm pretty maxed out at the moment sure. my account, but I do understand to promote this game to have. Uh, people with um, less experience All right. to play, and it's kind of uh, sometimes a good thing. Absolutely. Me personally, I like it a lot, the no ban system. So we got the second game. Oh, what, what, what map is this? This is Station. We're loading it back up here. Okay, okay. What do you think about Station, Dory? For these two teams? Oh, this is, this is a pretty wide open, not maybe wide open, but an open map, so we can expect the SMS players to go off here, as we see Grimlock, who's starting to really like the SMS and the shield, but goes uh, trip down to Trip here. So Trip also with the SMS trying to get into position, so two Valhalla guys down, the back is down, in about two seconds, there it is, and we see Bump using the shield again. And he's buying time, lots of time, and bringing you in the back closer to their base, which is just Excellent an amazing play. job. Good job, Bomb. And as you can see, it paid off. They just were able to pick it up, and smart play for those of you who aren't paying mm. attention. He just brought it back. He was going down. He knows he's not going to kill anybody. Drugs had him pinned, but he brought it back for us so his teammates who were spawning can take it. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. It's not about killing. It's about securing the bag and buying time bringing the bag as close as possible and he just did a fantastic job and Valhalla is in position of the first bag well it's only one bag I guess but <laughs> uh, the first bag grab okay <laughs> absolutely let's see what Jugs he's coming up he's coming out on the right here Jugs Bunny 11 is his massive soldier there just unbelievable roto power uh, Ika's defending on this right side. They're bunched up a little bit. A couple Landos might be able to take him. Drugs does take two down. As you Ika, say, that's exactly what is happening. Boom, another land out. This is the time to push, guys. Or if they should be able to take it here, but they're fighting on the left side with my opponent's brother, Grimlock. And Bob has the closest shield out again. And Valhalla keeps the bad guys. I don't know. They are Here we go. Both uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, and, and Bomb just does a phenomenal job right here. He bought so much time and he's still in position uh, off off the bag. So, I mean, that was that was an amazing job from uh, Bomb again. I, I, I guess I'm gonna talk just in, in the best matter. I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm lost. Yeah, but, I mean, uh, Valhalla did a great uh, job of defending there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I just really Jugs like took out three people. Absolutely. It's, and it's so tough. Then, I mean, Jugs took out three other defenders. They're down to two people on the field, and War still wasn't able to take it because of the smart plays that Bomb had. Well, made. now it's over as Griezmann started to use the gas grenades, or wasn't it Griezmann, or was it at least some gas grenades? I don't know if they came crazy. from a Diana. Or in general, they were using it, but I think those guys prepared. Ward was uh, pretty much, I think, aware of the shield plays that Valhalla is doing, so they're using the gas, which was pretty effective. Effective. Uh, very, very smart play. This one. Yeah, yeah, very smart play. You know, I'm seeing that meta more and more now. Uh, SM did that uh, against us, actually. Um, uh, Volt, and you know, it's something I'm seeing around that it, you know, gas is not dead. You know, it's a smart thing. And, this is about how to counter their counters. You know, they got shields. Okay, well, gas is great for shields. 
Well, but Valhalla coming in strong now. They're not letting Ward settle up anything right here, and they're pushing pretty hard. Uh, let's see if they can make a little bit of a better push, but the war guys are still up. Two of the war guys are down now, so they're gonna be pushing right here. But as you can see, war also using the shields. Three Eleven guys. just stayed along, alive for so long right there, just yeah. delaying that. It was amazing. And he was not using the Moses shield, just the regular shield, which is also a, a pretty nice thing to do. Make it a push in here. Please. Let's see what happens. Just a fantastic job of Crazy coming in and helping, but oh. it was unfortunately not enough, and go, Bomb is it is enough, away. because Bomb is running away from the bag. Away. Guys, two seconds. Oh two my seconds. god. Wow. Oh my god. Oh. 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 And well, and guys, that was a pretty good. I have to finish it slowly, because I'm watching it, and I, I just try to talk about everything, but... Crazy does a really good job in coming in with the Diana, helping, attacking, and buying time. Great job from Walhalla getting this back, running away instead of fighting, because they were ahead of the points, and they managed to take the second game. Amazing job. Absolutely. I mean, Crazy was actually on that that push and steal, bag steal on the first game as well with his Diana. I mean, it's an underestimated uh, skill or tactic that I think is out there. But when Dianas can really help you push, it is uh, so effective to have that. Fifth oh, break. so effective. It's so effective. The, the, the guy that showed me that was Spartan. Um, he 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 was uh he's fantastic at that he he plays diana right up close to a, a lot of the pushing players and it, it just always puts pressure with either a drone or or his gun and uh yeah he's one example that, uh, of, of a player that does really well there yeah i think bomb might be mvp for that game they really saved him oh. uh, from a potential steal and then they ended up getting it back all right well, so scoring I games is one one right it's one one, as I told you. This is yeah. going to be a series, series. So that, as I, we could expect uh, nothing better to start off with those two fantastic games, especially with that last one. Val coming back, grabbing the bag, and coming back, not letting really war settle up. So fantastic. Good job, Val. It's one one in series, right, Hugo? Yeah, yeah. And next one, my favorite as a sniper, Talensk. I, I started to rip this one up because of using Sharon. What I like to do here is I like to get on the wall, like take out and, and call out as much as possible. If I get found out, I disappear and I am attacking the rush from behind. Let's see Absolutely. if what they do. With, let's see if uh, any of those teams use that tactic in this one. And just to respond to the YouTube chat, yeah, we're going to go to the scoreboards here. Uh, uh, that is our, our bad here. We're going to be looking at the scoreboards. To, I know you guys like to see what's happening, how many kills, and who's got the bravado. Hey, you yeah. already, already insane complaining about not seeing the scoreboard. Insane. <laughs> and well, I'm it's, just saying it's going to be – let's insane, just say it's Canadian's fault. <laughs> insane, insane complaints about everything, so – Okay. Okay. So, um, so we are starting up here in a couple minutes. Um, what, what do you think tactics wise for bag grabs is here, Dory? Well, on Clarence, if I'm, I see, I always have two fantastic bag grabbers in my mind. One of them basically is Grimlock. The other one is Hul, Hulricker. Um, mm -hmm. but Grimlock likes to play the SMS now. So I don't know. I think rushing the bag. Um, with the Lando, getting the bag and running back is uh, a pretty good thing to do because there are not many MGLs around anymore. But you got to watch out for the RPGs and for the SMS players. So I could see Bomb coming out with the shield, uh, taking mm -hmm. all the damage he can, and somebody else trying to grab the bag as fast as possible. So that might be something that we could see. I love it. I love it. I can't wait till this starts. All right. Yeah. I think wow. well, is I'm going to be right. I'm going to receive the 27K gold, right? <laughs> if you're right, yeah. We're shooting for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give it to Bomb, and I'm going to talk to him to give me some. <laughs> right. Keep, keep the Polish blood together. Yeah, Tons is probably well. 
my favorite map, I would say. I love it. I love the gameplay. I love how big it is. I love that you can get the bag easy if, uh, in the beginning if you want, but then it's it's not an easy play to get, not an in and out. Yeah, everybody meets yeah, in the when middle. I, when I think about it, I actually, I don't know which one, mm. which map I like the best. I definitely know that Village is not one of my favorite maps because of Agreed. the SMS play players that the open maps i'm not an sms player uh i'm, I'm fortunate to have say back in my team so that, that yeah. makes me feel comfortable but mm -hmm. um, i think plansk is pretty much one of my favorite maps because it's kind of like a mix of both you have it open you can hide and it's it's a it's a nice balanced map i believe yeah and you talk about uh Zabek and uh you know, uh, last time, um, last time we were talking about his skills and everything, I got a lot of backlash from uh, Prodigy. Um, uh, you know, it, Prodigy is a very proud player, um, but I think his um, his exact response uh, his exact response was to me is why are you sucking his dick, and I was just like, bro, hold on. <laughs> so. You know, I've I got a lot of respect for both of those players, and they're both incredible players. Who, in your mind, is the best sniper out there, other than those two? Who, who, else, who else gets the list? Well, if you ask me, it's always I'm going to promote my guys, even though I say everybody's my guy. But, um, mm -hmm. um, like, honestly, like, um, oh, we have one of them playing in this game. It's Ace, definitely, from Valhalla who is um, knowing because sniping and SMSing in this case is about positioning yourself in the best possible spot. So Ace mm -hmm. is doing a fantastic job and he also has the um, MF shield, which is kind of getting on my nerves sometimes because you want to push a sniper and if you do that, Ace is pulling out the shield. But another great sniper and SMS play is of course my man Meow. Everybody knows mm, Meow Meow. We know Meow <laughs> yes. Meow. We know Meow Meow. Um, but Meow, uh, not only great in playing the SMS, uh, he's not sniping, but SMS, but also with the shield, which uh, Bob is doing so good. So if you have good shield players, this is basically also what Zabek is doing. He's SMSing, um, and we have baby Zabek Meow, who is doing also uh, with the second up. loadout, the, the Moses shield, which is just amazing. And we're queued up for the uh, the next uh, next game. Talents will be up up here in uh, about a couple seconds. Yep, just waiting, waiting on the squad. Yeah, we're waiting. waiting How about we see who is in in the chat right here? We have the legend. Alan, you might have to reset. Uh, Rad Sanford, Kevin Dumas, um, Canadian, of course, still in here. And oh my God, it's Abby. <laughs> and let me see oh cookie in the house what's up curly oh man so many Shout nice good curly. players in here and if anybody wants to say hi that's the time to go <laughs> hello chat so it looks like oh. the squads are queuing up here um just again looking at the roster we got drugs bunny 11 griezmann Trip and Youth on the War US current roster. And for Valhalla, we got Grimlock, Crazy, Ika, Nicholas, and Bomb. Man, these Talon. guys are good. Talon, check your code, please. Okay, thank you. Oh, and you get this, of course, from checking it out from the Iron Forge uh, server and seeing those teams online. Is this correct? Correct. Yeah, that's all. Oh, okay, there you go. Oh, so I have an overview also. Here we, here here we we're go. starting up. Yeah, baby. Here we go. There you go. Game three. Let us see who's going for the bag. <clears throat> the tank. The tank one. You can tell it's uh, throwing us out at the start of the game, which so should not be a bigger problem. Yeah, I and see. there you go. Yeah. It's basically what happened. Yeah, there's off with the shield. He's taking all the damage, but War was, I guess, a little quicker to grab the bag, right? 11 with the bag. And Respawn also with the shield. Great job, I guys. I was able to catch it, actually. Valhalla moved in there, and they had the numbers, and they were there the first, but there was basically a dogfight at the bag, at the building, and War came out on top. 
Okay, mm. nice tap. Well, yeah, that was a, 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 a really strong push from War here. And, I mean, they both had shields up. But I guess uh, War was a little stronger here, moving better from side to side. Because that's what you gotta do when you have a shield on top. So, yeah, Valhalla's job is to take the bag here. Uh, back from a pretty strong war, war squad, which mm. just started amazingly. 26-4. So Trip, Trip is using that SMS. So, you know, we were talking about bans. You know, there's a lot of uh, controversy about uh, using using uh, PC. Uh, and there hold, is hold on a second, hold on, because Valhalla is doing a fantastic job in pushing Ooh. in with the shields. Ika grabbing yeah. the bag, rolling oh, out his yeah. bag yeah. into the base, guys. Amazing. Good job, Valhalla. Good job, Valhalla. I'm sorry, Hugo, but that was no, just no too way. good to pass up. That oh, was yeah, just a, a great job from Valhalla coming in. I mean, that was that was really impressive. It's going back and forward here. Mm. Mm. So, so sorry. If you want to come back to, to the bat, you, you were talking about band system, right? Uh, well, I mean, not a band system, but, you know, I hear a lot of noise about, uh, you know, oh, we're using a computer. Hey, you know, this game is pay to win. You know, if you have an advantage, he you can buy goes a down and Drugs is coming out to interrupt again. We're just interrupting you all day, but Drugs That's is coming like, away yeah. with the bag and War there makes another steal. There we go. There is too much going on to just chit chat here, uh, Hugo. I, I think we have to do that um, after the game. Uh, because War is in position of the get if the back again, and it's going back and forth. I mean, that's what we like to see right here. That's what we came for, and we knew it's going to be good. But I mean, this is just Damn. really good. This is two top teams going at each other and just trying to to make it to the finals, I guess. Any any game that goes back and forth like this, I love. It's just great. <laughs> Yeah, you know, War has All a pretty right. methodical setup here. You know, they keep their bag back in the middle, and they've oh. got their sniper up on that high ground if they can. Uh, and they're just rotating really well. They got somebody up top on the high ground. They got somebody in the middle. Uh, Bahal is disrupting it a little bit now, obviously taking it to that right side of the spawn. Pretty methodical oh, yeah. setup here. Bahal, let's see if they do another run through. Ika's alone. Well, bomb, bomb had a chance to, to grab it, and but there was just there was no way out. And what uh, Griezmann and War did at this moment is grabbing the bag with the shield. So this is probably the best thing to do. Uh, even though um, Bomb is coming up from the bag, and he's probably gonna stab him. But if this, it's enough. Yeah, Griezmann is gonna be down. So Valhalla needs to push now. It's 20 seconds to go, guys. And Bomb's got it. Wow. Bomb's got it. Wow. He might sneak by with that. Look at that. Oh my god. Witchcraft. Oh my god, Bomb. That is amazing. Gonna, if Valhalla is winning this game, I'm going to call this definitely a key play. Outstanding play, yeah. He, I think they were five on the field. He hit Grease, who was a Moses, and waited till he died and snuck it out of the spawn. That is ridiculous. I mean, he was waiting for the right moment, actually, and he was not waiting long. And but hold on, it's not over till it's over, right? And they've got that with, right. Uh, no. Aaron and grabbing the bag. No. He's probably gonna try to hold it. And he's doing a fantastic jump, but he's gonna go down. Oh, he goes down. That means it resets the clock. The clock is reset. Holy shit! All right, Valhalla. Oh, I mean, got it. as we can see again, this is going to overtime Woo! because they have um, a 40 point, almost 40 point advantage here, War. But this doesn't mean anything if you don't have the bag, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Chris well, got the bag see. on that right, but don't be. Well, let's see. Oh, got left alone. Oh, the but there's still two guys. Okay. Just don't let them escape right here, Valhalla. Oh. Who's dropping those? Nicholas. Oh my god. Bratan. Good job. <laughs> Amazing clutch. Drugs, they were coming Ooh. in. Drugs might have had a chance to, to secure this win here. Well, I mean, it looks like War is going to have one, two more pushes to get this yeah, back and point. secure it for around 10 seconds to win this game. Let's see if they can handle that. Two Valhalla guys are down at the moment. Grimlock pushing them out. But now, oh, this is going to be key. Yeah, absolutely. Let's Nicholas see if has to move. Yeah, and he does. Yeah, good job. Going down. That's what you gotta do. 
Crazy goes down too. It's just bomb. Bomb doing an amazing job. Come on, good job. Very good job. She is lit. That's just crazy, guys. I don't know what to say. Let's enjoy this. Yeah. Eleven is gonna go down. He's one shot, guys. He is one shot, and he's not going down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you oh see how those shields are just battling <laughs> shields? Oh my god. You know, I'm surprised I didn't see a little bit more of the gas play because of how many shields were there. But man, it was just a bang out fight. As you can, mm. uh, um, the the stream is actually currently watching that that last little fight. Wow, I mean, what a fight! I'm here. having the stream open also, yeah. and I had to watch it again yeah. because there was so much going on. And as bananas is saying right now, wow, crazy game! It was yeah. a crazy game. It's so a crazy have... series. I have the scoreboard up for this last game. Uh, 11 on the War US side, the winners. 11's on top, the killer, the, the, the man, the myth, the legend, 11. He's at 15 kills, 7 deaths, uh, 5 assists. Drugs follows with 11 kills, 6 deaths, and uh, 7 assists. Grease had 4 kills, 6 and 8 assists. Trip, 12 and 8. And eight and six assists as well. A lot of kills going on here. And uh, Evamp coming up on the with uh, four and nine on the Valhalla side. Ika is leading them with bag points, and he's eight and nine and three. Nicholas is next at ten, eleven, and two. Uh, Bomb had five and eight, and then two assists. Crazy four eleven with six assists. Grimlock five and eight and five assists. You know, just looking at this, uh, War US had the higher kill count, um, pretty consistently across the board. However, uh, Valhalla did a great job of protecting the bag, coming back, key moments, and that that play stealing that bag from Bomb uh, was pretty amazing. Oh yeah, definitely. And I'm glad you're reading. Um... The scoreboard um we can have a little bit of a technical issue here and we cannot show them to you they're going to be available on the iron forge discord server afterwards um but now i guess guys you just have to listen yeah too too, too bad as he's going to read them after each and every game now um yeah but that game could go either way definitely and um, we knew that war is going to come with a lot of firepower and they are I mean, all top players, the same as Valhalla. But I'm just really impressed by Valhalla getting the bag back twice. Was it twice in that game or once? Yeah. I don't even know. But they're doing a pretty good damn job with it. And twice. I think it was twice. And yep. um, so it's so, so amazing to watch. I mean, we watched three games. And I'm, I'm excited to see the fourth, fifth, and sixth. And it might go down to the seventh game as I see the series going 2-1 up for war at the moment. Yep, 2-1 two, two, war US, and it's best of seven. We got ship coming up next here, Dory. This is a bar fight of a map. It's going to be interesting. Oh, and I know that US players like to play the, the Landau. Isn't that correct? Oh, we uh, love the Landau. We love our <laughs> Landau. Except for that bitch-ass Landau cannon that Star likes to run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's 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 not cheating if it's in the game. That is oh, true. Yeah. That's we true. all know the legend Hunter himself, who's using it as yeah. a primary oh, weapon, man. basically. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I lo I love it. I'm with you, Hunter. But yeah, you know, we we like the land out. I think there's a couple different ways you could do it, right? I mean, the other way is just just mine the hell out of it. Um, but then the landos are a good counter for the mines, in my opinion. So. There's a lot of stuff to throw around. It's a fast, it's a high octane, it's the smallest map. Uh, it's one of my favorites as well. It's a delayed bag. You can't get it early, so you really gotta uh it up. One of the early uh you know, the early strategies is, is important in this game because it's so small and because you can't force the bag out early, you gotta wait. So you have to establish an, some sort of strategy. Some people like to push in, mine up the other opponent's spawn, some people like to establish that high ground on the stairs, some people like to split it up, maybe throw in a sniper. You know, uh it's it's gonna be interesting uh what happens here. It's a it's a map that typically a lot of people start to go towards here we go. We're starting up. Ooh, okay. Well, yeah, the high ground is always good for, for some yeah. sniper players, even though it's a small map. 
as we can see who is starting with the SMS right here. I, I think it was Trip or was it crazy with the Diana. But let's see, they're starting at Diana on the pub team right now. And Griezmann also flying the Diana, both with the missile defense next to them. So they kind of safe and they can fly as much as they want from the beginning. Um, if nobody is, you know, coming through their base, of course. Now notice... Yeah. Okay, go ahead. On that high ground side, I was just going to say Grimlock and Vamp were fighting for that high ground. And it looks like Grimlock came on top. Guys, 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 I have to interrupt right here. Guys, we do not have a stream at the moment, so the stream is off. There's a black screen, and uh, we have to fix that real quick, guys. No problem. Okay. We'll get that fixed here. Here we go. Here we go. Um, so far, what's happening, guys, if you don't see, War is grabbing the bag. The bag was down at 317. Drugs Bunny, or Drugs, Drugsy, is grabbing the bag uh, with the SMG Lando. And um, Griezmann's still flying, so Ward could secure the bag and is leading 13 to 4. Stream is back up now, so guys, it's coming towards you. Here we go. And we're back! Grease is just so frustrating to play against when he's on that day. You know, it's like he's. <clears throat> He just snipes you with those uh, bomb drops. It's a pretty big difference when you're facing, you know, just a typical Diana versus pro like Chris. Well, War again. War again, what grabbing the bag, having a big advantage right here, 34 to 7. So basically, now two War guys down, but on ship, if you have the bag and settle it up, uh, with Lamors and Mines and even Gas, as you can see here now, Griezmann, a fantastic Diana, a really fantastic Diana, if I play against him, it's, it's, it's always a big deal, um, and I'm talking about the times where there were no missile defenses uh, mm -hmm. protecting you, um, but this is going to be a hard task for Valhalla to get this bag um, on ship, but it's also a pretty important game because they are down 2-1, so... Um, tying the series would be very key in, in the whole series right there. We got numbers on War's right spawn here. We'll see if they can survive. Uh, that's an unfortunate little, it looks like maybe a land, I'm not sure, but Nicholas took down Bomb. We're gonna have to maybe reestablish. Um, they're being, they're, they're being wa smart with their pushes, being patient, but War's just picking them off so that they're not able to have that opportunity to really make a strong uh, final little push. Right, let's oh, see, we see the Lando cannon here from Bomb, which unfortunately did not kill anybody, but um, they are trying to surround them, even with the C4 laying that next to Bomb right here. Um, oh, Eker killing, killing Bomb, unfortunately, with the C4. Um, there is a big lead for war at the moment, 81 to 11. Um, and it's, it's kind of hard to do anything right here because they're mined up. They are in the back, probably holding it with the Moses shield also. Um, well, they have to get it somehow because time is running out. 20 seconds to go. You gotta do it now. Gotta go. They can That's see the all the push they have. Absolutely. And the, the back is still in position. Where's the back? Bags in the uh, far left with Vamp and sniping. Okay. And they're protected. This, Look at that. Look this at looks that. like a clean win right here, very dominant win of war, paddling up, just big time on ship, this is how it goes yeah. down, if you if settle you lock, up. If you lock down ship, it is so hard to get the, the, uh, the bag back, it's, 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 the, the percentages are so low if you can protect the bag on ship. Really All right, we got the scoreboard here for the stream to see, thank Woo! you so much, our streamer talent, appreciate you working with the kinks. Uh, let's let's take us through Dory here. Look, starting with the winners here at, at War US. Well, uh, as we can see, Drugs. Um, we didn't see the beginning, but Drugs was holding basically the bag the whole time with sixty-two, 62 points. points. Even though he just had two kills, he's still the MVP in my eyes. A good bag holder is always key to winning a match. Uh, Vamp, which is you, with seven kills, 11-9. Griezmann as a Diana player in here. I think he might have switched to the Moses Shield also and did a pretty good job. 
trip with six assists and four kills right here. Well, the scoreboard doesn't look too good on my Polish brother Grimlock here, even though he had seven kills. Um, Nicholas managed to kill five guys, but they basically did not really have the right idea to, to grab or do something against this strong setup uh, with missile defenses, lame wars, and mines from the strong war or US squad, unfortunately. So yeah. it's 3 1 for war. And 3 1 with war. We have a, a game that could be an ending game of this series. Is this correct, Hugo? That is correct. Mm. Mm, yeah. You know, yeah. speaking for, for Valhalla on that last game, um, you know, they were really uh, doing well at staying together, being patient with their pushes, and they would get to the second tier, essentially, the 20-yard line, you know, just outside the red zone of that, of that, um, that war spawn. But war was just so solid in that corner with the missile defenses, with lame wars, and they just could not punch that last thing and punch it into the end zone. I mean, Valhalla had five people on that second tier, which is only one container in between them and the and, and the enemy. Most teams in that bag position defending, they would consider themselves pinched and in a real rough spot. But war just was fortified. They were uh, it was just almost impenetrable. I think only maybe two or three times that somebody was, was even to be able to break the ranks and then died almost immediately. I don't think necessarily uh, that that speaks to uh, Valhalla's lack there, but maybe uh, more of War US's uh, strength and just fortifying that defense. Looks like we're all uh, queued up here. It uh, looks like Val is, is queued up here. We're just waiting on war. Uh, next up, Area. I love Area. Area is so fun. So hard. The, the, the key to Area is that bag grab in the, in, the, in the first. If you can get that bag you have um, at first, it, huge advantage. Huge advantage. Dory, what do you think? I think Dory, I think Dory actually might not be here. Mm, he had sushi time, apparently. Yeah, uh, looks like him. So we'll wait till he comes back. But I agree with you, Hugo. Um, it's the delayed bag grab, obviously, with the zombies. Uh, yep. Some people like to get rid of those zombies in the beginning. But, you know, it's one of those things that you if you forget about that timing of the bag coming coming down, it's a mm -hmm. quick way to lose it. You know, I know on, yeah. on the teams I play, and that's a big reminder. It's coming down. It's coming down. Yeah, you crash it. You gotta watch um, the clock. You gotta know when to drop. And uh, so, what do you what do you like to do here? Do you like grass or do you like the other side? Do you like to go uh, go up there, and maybe get get a landau kill, put a mine up. You're gonna. I mean, whoever brings a landau up to that uh, those stairs, you gotta watch out. Typically, uh, you know, I think the most um, uh, I would say busy uh, is the hill. You know, so I would mm -hmm. go there usually with my roto or whatever else but um we'll see i i would imagine that with these this type of tier uh is it, it's either going to dominate the typical or they're going to uh, uh create an innovative so we'll see we're getting started here there you go guys i'm back i made it my food arrived but there's no time for eating right now game four uh, no it's a game, game five. five this could be a match decider for so war us valhalla has to win this one so there is it's it's a win or basically go home which would mean uh playing in this in the little finals as i call them over here and they would play for the third place only um one thing we have an issue here with the stream it's kind of a little bit smaller than it was before so if we can do something about that because i already got some Messages. It's clear. It's clear. It's all like real life. We will adjust that after this next game. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, Valhalla doing a damn good job here. And see, oh, it's it's war. I'm sorry. I almost missed that because the colors have changed. War with the back again. And it's mm, it's key in perfect. this map because they are on this side. This map this map is definitely not balanced. And mm -hmm. there's one side who is wide open, the other side is not. And um, Valhalla easy. basically has 
um, the better side right now because if they have a sniper on top, which they probably do have mm -hmm. Grimlock, but he just got down by Trip, so Trip is taking care of those guys mm -hmm. not to get uh, SMS'd. Um, Talon, because Talon, can I see some Trip action up there if he's still alive? Yeah, Trip did a good job. We, could, we didn't see it, but we just see that he is uh, making sure there's nobody on top just sniping them down because Grimlock tried to establish himself on the top. So, yeah, Valhalla um, got two minutes to do something here, and they have the wide open side, which means if they have a good position with Grimlock on the left side with the SMS now, um, there's not much space for war to hide, as you can see. And Grimlock is doing a good job. He's taking Absolutely. down. There's only Vamp. Somebody's got to push because Vamp is the only one alive. They're already coming back, but uh, Grimlock on the left side killing guys uh, with the SMS. And the bag holder is really low now. It's Vamp. Youth moving just really good at the moment because um, the whole team was basically down. So he had to move to the left side, even though um, if you are playing on area, you want to keep the right side, the right hill. If this is not possible, you have to move to the left, which uh, you could just a uh, really good job in. Yeah, and uh, so the score is going to be 3-1, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, you know, if, if Val needs to win here, if, if, Ooh, look at uh, that. if War Drugged. wins this, it's over. War oh, wins they do it's have over. to do that. It's, 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 a, do, it's, it's a, a game match right here. Do or die. And, um, do or die. Yeah, it's do or die. Um, they have to do something. They have one minute to figure out how to get this back. Um, the best way to do it would be Grimlock taking down two guys with SMS at least, and then just keep pushing. But so far, that's not really working out. You know, this is where nerves can kind of kick in a little bit, adrenaline can kick in. You know it's do or die, and so that can split apart some things. It doesn't look like Valhalla is uh, necessarily crumbling, but I know a lot of uh, squads that can happen. Yeah, and then basically there's one guy left um, right now from Valhalla, all down. It's 30 seconds. Oh, this is the last push. push. Last push here. Um, they have to get the back down to extend the series to game six, and that might be the case with the Lando cannon, but unfortunately he did not Nothing. hit anybody. They got through there, 10 seconds. Oh, 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 back to the face. Oh my god, Rizmo just did an amazing job with the shield, not allowing anything to happen. And As War US just beat Valhalla. Comes out on final top. match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. War US is War. going to the finals. Wow. Excellent job, War US. Let's look at this scoreboard here. <clears throat> Woof. War's on top, obviously. Um, Vamp or AKA Youth having the bag. I, I pretty much the whole time it looks like sixty-six points, six and one and two. Drugs five and four and one. Trip doing an excellent job um, going around with. I think it was mainly with that Sharon. Uh, Eleven and six, zero and and eleven, five and eight, two. Griezmann uh, three, three and two. Nice, solid, strong defense. Valhalla just wasn't able to uh, pull through there. Excellent job with the Valhalla team. Nicholas is on top for this one. Bomb, Ika, you know, all real similar kills. Six, five, five, six and five, five and five, five and eight, three and five, two and seven. Excellent job by the Valhalla team. They're also playing on uh, USC server, which really does say something. I mean, you can't really uh, underestimate how important it is to have that ping. And uh, war's on the home turf. War came through represented and they're going to the finals good job war us valhalla excellent run it really speaks to how good you guys are great hey, job hey uh star we've got um we've got uh I ika in here ika uh, ika sorry my my bad hello guys hey. Hey, ika. Ika. Pretty nice. <laughs> we were just giving you guys hey, some props hey. Valhalla just came through and and showed up in the semifinals of a foreign server uh, tournament. And, you know, I mean, we saw that War U ended up going out in the first round. 
Uh, how are you guys able to stay alive so long and uh, and just compete on this at this level? It really shows you guys talent. How, how are you guys feeling about where you guys at and how it showed up? Actually, it was it was a solid one, but uh, right now we 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 played like two hundred plus right now. So it, it was really hard for me, especially because I'm playing most of the time a lot of them. So for me, that's that small thing, that switching uh, switching to knife or planto or whatever. Absolutely. I have, yeah, I have I have deal delay and uh, but but of course, uh, uh, power play played very really good. They they are amazing in defense. So it, it was a good run, but it, it's it's really hard to play to play with this. RTT. Absolutely. I mean, and for those who didn't hear, uh, Ike was saying that he was, uh, his RTT was 200 plus, which really is a significant yeah. difference than your typical, you know, 80, 70, is sometimes even 50, yeah. for, depending yeah. on the ones you have. When you're 200 plus, it's like playing on, uh, it's like, you know, playing with one hand tied behind your back. And so, yeah, you know, exactly. it really speaks to Valhalla. Play, when you play the Rotogun, which Ike loves to play and is good at, so the Rotogun on a higher RTT is 200. It's a big difference. So yeah, we, we, we get you, we get you. Unfortunately, the last European team is out, but um, I really like the first three games. Unfortunately, I think ship was like a, like a little bit deciding because I had a feeling that on ship, it just nothing was working. And then you yeah. are under the pressure on area, which you have to win and mm -hmm. just didn't work out for some reason. There was something missing a little bit. But like those three first games, I mean, you could have go up three nothing. Also, it was just yeah. so entertaining and good job. Yeah, well, well, for 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 the first three games, we had uh, we had uh, like some tactics, some uh, you know what we're gonna do and stuff. And on ship, everything just stopped. We we couldn't do anything. So mm -hmm. I, I tried I tried to switch to uh, to play SMG with fucking uh, C four, but <laughs> even that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we saw you killed Bob once. With <laughs> yeah, yeah. We saw that. That was uh, right. on our screen right there. Um, but yeah, it, it kind of felt like you really had a game plan for the first three games. And you did yeah. a great job in, in, in securing and running away with the bag. And um, Bomb and you and basically the whole team, Grimlock with the sniping, SMSing. And that was really, really good. As I say, unfortunately, like the ship game was a little bit of a game breaker. And it yeah, uh, was it really is. important for you guys. Yeah, we could tell, yeah. but good job, anyways. Yeah, tip the momentum. Yeah, tip the and, and it wasn't was, anything it was, that you guys were doing. I think you know you really had some concise pushes. It just you know you were at that like, that final little push, that final yeah. little tier, five strong, and War just had that on lock in the corner. How did you feel about that? Well, you know that they they are playing with the uh, with the. Uh, Shields. That that's that's actually our our tactics when when we got the bag. Uh, they are played like three Moses on with shield, especially on area. So <laughs> basically, you, you need you need to run uh, around the Moses and kill him. But with this LTT, it was it was impossible. And uh, they had the uh, Yot with the sniper and uh, and Zloy, so he was dashing there like one hundred times, so you can't kill him. Mm. But yeah, they 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 are they are really good, and uh, this is uh, this is their server. So this is our uh, our first tournament uh, outside of Europe. So it was Man, it was a good one. And... Yeah, you guys didn't make it easy for them, though. You know, Absolutely. I mean, it was it was fantastic games. I mean, the, the score doesn't show the story. Definitely doesn't. You guys played awesome. Appreciate yeah, other than ship, it was like so even, and area yeah. just didn't work out at the end. Um, but um, yeah, Warriors is definitely, as we all know, one of the best teams squads in in the game, and they are amazingly good on EU servers. And and all of a sudden, you play them on a US server, which is just yeah. a whole nother yeah. level, I guess. Yeah. So they're living yeah. it up, and you can feel it. So this is what. Ika is probably talking about, and I, I totally agree. So, yeah. Yeah, totally. Not an easy task. Well, yeah. Well, hey, Ika, thank you so much. We appreciate you guys. In the room here is uh, my main man, Griezmann. Hey, Grease, uh, unmute, man. How how you guys feeling? 
Uh, wait, uh, one second. Nice. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Just, hang on one second. Uh, I feel pretty good. <laughs> 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 Grees showing up. He's that that young pro, the young blood. Yeah. Uh, well, I want to hear drugs. what Grees has been. I, I I was hoping the drugs could come up here, but uh, apparently not. Apparently not. No problem. But, no, uh, just... Okay. Well, hey, you know the show must go on. Hey guys, thank you so much, uh, Griezmann. If you can fix your mic, awesome. If not, we gotta we gotta push this thing along. So I, I yep. appreciate you guys. Good job, Valhalla. Congrats.
we are and we are back 300 og versus sm the semifinals. congrats again to war us taking out valhalla great games 300 og versus that sm squad is our next semi-final match to decide who's goes to the finals as well as that third game match dory how you feeling you got some food in you or at least thinking about it tempting <laughs> you great well, games I'm- so far how you feeling about the night uh, I'm feeling great. A little hungry, not gonna lie, but excited. Um, hey. I actually wanted to see I- uh, Ika and the, the Valhalla crew go a little farther. I had a feeling it's gonna go to six, seven games. Well, it went to six, right? Because no, it went to four, five, five. So I, I was expecting it to go to six or seven. Um, but as we said, unfortunately, ship was not the game for them, and it was a. Uh, a game breaker, and unfortunately, um, that was the end. Actually, not really the end because they still got to play mm-hmm. after the SM and uh, 300 uh, matchup. They're going to play for the third place, which is also um, pretty important and a, a, a little final right here. So I'm feeling good. I'm having my food prepared. I'm not trying to, to eat it right now, but maybe sometimes I'm going to mute myself and hop in some sushi. <laughs> there you go. Uh, hey, and you know what? You know what? Uh, bad. We have a returning retiree coming into the booth that uh, uh, that we're all going to be a little taken back about his energy and how he conducts himself. Okay, uh, I'm a little m- nervous. Miss Mr. Aries might make an appearance here in this third, ma- the second match here. Uh, I I don't know how, what to think about this. I love it, Mr. Weber. We'd love to see you. Just looking at the chat here. Also, we're getting some, uh, apparently, after that, War Deserves Curly. So, shout out to Curly. Uh, <laughs> got, got a nice active chat here. Thanks for everybody for showing up and, and showing out. We're looking forward to the semifinals. Now, as far as outstanding plays, Dory, what do you think? I know I have one in mind on this last match. What do you think as far as for this prize pack we might be giving away? Well, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that you have the same in mind that I do have in my mind. Because you kind of copied mine, <laughs> but <laughs> but no, I mean I think Bomb did an amazing job. It's always good to have somebody who knows how to hold a bag in general. Just a, you know, like really important player for Val. Um, unfortunately, I did not. Even though I didn't see it, but I think Trip did an amazing job um, on the area map. It was a closeout game, taking down. This, the SMS player in the middle, even they had the wide open side. So I think um, those two guys kind of um, are in my mind at the moment. Um, we saw a lot of bomb, um, not only playing with the Moses Shield, but also with the Charon or um, Sharon. And um, that was an amazing play that we saw. It's kind of not too easy to see everything because we're hopping from one person to the other. But so far, I think bomb is kind of my guy I go with. Yeah, we're always going to miss certain things, and I think there was a lot of team play that really stuck out. Uh, I'm definitely with you. I think Trip deserved quite a bit on that area map, but I'm Team Polska with you today. It's bomb for me for the win, and specifically, there was a couple things. I mean, he really uh, helped out uh, with some certain bag movement, back steals, and things like that, but the main one I'm thinking about is on that Talensk, and he took that Sharon from Griezmann with the Moses and snuck out of there unseen oh yeah shot and i think I that mean, really you, the as you're doing it against a guy like Griezmann, who is um just you know he knows how to move he knows how to play the diana and in general just a great player so yeah that's not an easy thing to do i mean not easy at all requires some some skills so that was what i really like now the question is do we have more than 27k to give or is it for each series or is it for the whole evening what what is the case because i don't know the rules we got it for each pack here so we get one per series that we can give away one pack and i think we decided who that is for this next one now not to be in you know i think war us as a team obviously has taken it through but you guys are going to get tons of gold here going to the finals so i'm not worried about you so star hey the the natives are getting restless. These players are chomping at the bit, and I am getting uh, a lot a, a lot of um, a lot of kickback here. They want to play. We are ready. Ready. What do we, 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 we have to mention right here, guys? We, got, we, we have forty five. 
We have 45, 46 people in the stream. It's amazing to have you guys. We're going to try to talk to you as much as possible. I see Canadian being active, even though he's not in the city, at a farm, uh, next to <laughs> right yeah. after animals and, yeah, and he's tigers that he's committing yeah, right now. But if you have a chance to share the stream, get some more people in, we appreciate it. We're doing our best to kind of be with you tonight and promote the Iron Forge tournament, first edition, which we're already really happy about. So if you can... Uh, share it wherever you want to share it, send it to your grandmother, <laughs> send it to you, yeah. and just okay, come okay. on and have a good time with us. All right, star. So, starting lineup for SM uh, AGM Big Smoke, Big Smoke, uh, a recent addition, uh, Decrema, Exorcist, uh, Rexorcist, and the Lions. What are we, what are we saying? We got 30, we got 30 seconds each team. Let's uh, let's do this. You know, I think it's a it's a great lineup a, a, for a great squad. Um, it looks like maybe they're missing a couple of people that I don't uh, see. Then the main yeah. people I didn't hear was Ryu or Short Bus and Papa. Yeah. So we'll see. Those are two main people on their starting squad, and that might uh, they might suffer from that a little bit here. And going against three hundred OG, it's not an easy match to go against. Uh, SM really did a great job against uh, Volt Cough Cough. Uh, even though I'm personally <laughs> frustrated, uh, they did a great job, and um, they, they they're really good at coming up with innovative team based strategies. And we're going to be going to this next game, this first game here, Sky. Oh baby, mm. Sky action. Mm -mm. Love there you go. Oh, Aries is in the booth. Aries. Welcome, brother. Damn right. Damn right. Back How you now. feeling, OG? 300 OG. This there is team. Look at Laz here, represented in the middle. What are they going to do here? You know, I know Prod, and I know he's going to try and take the high ground with his SMS if I had to put money on it. Um, I'm hoping that they don't bunch up. You know, we saw that as a mistake uh, a few times the last time when we were watching War and SM, but I, or War and uh, Val. So I think I think the key is going to be to spread out on defense and be proactive. That's one thing that we've always been preaching is proactive defense. Nice. I love it. I love it. I mean, sorry I was late. I had to pistol whip some people in the chat. My, I'm icing my shoulder down. <laughs> I, that's I, I, not the that's only whip you're doing. Hey, <laughs> don't come in my chat bag, fucking bro. talking shit on us boys don't come in my chat i'll back down from that, that shit here come we go here we go we better love than that tell me are we gonna see aries in action tonight no aries no aries gotta ice the arm down all right so we got the bag out of right? 300. no 300 less got the bag sitting in that uh that base i think he's sitting on a mural yeah, he's been working hard with Miro, and I've been I've been impressed watching him play. I haven't I haven't played much, but I've been watching a lot of live streams, and it's been fun. It, and it took he's away holding the MGO. bag, so, so basically Ooh. holding the bag with the Miro, he can clean up those mines, which he's doing a good job. But he's getting pushed here, but no way. With the shotgun, it's uh, against Diana, uh, pretty hard to do anything. Um, but I think uh, Laz is uh, such an experienced guy. Mm -hmm. And as we all know, most important, which uh, my teammate Zabag is always preaching, hold the bag, hold the bag, move the bag. So, from what yeah. I see at the moment, Laz is, is doing a pretty good damn Except job right caught, now. Ooh, there you go. He got caught one on one there. He did a good job getting the shotty out. Love it. Yeah, they're just ooh, holding down that left side of their spawn. Harold's oh, always shit. undefeated. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm on the wrong stream, aren't I? Fuck it. Oh, oh yeah, mistake, if you guys. are. You mistake. If you on YouTube, you're gonna be a little late. Oh yeah, I didn't so know you gotta hop on on Discord. Me on Discord yep. right here. Yeah, rookie mistake, boys and girls. Fucking it's amateur hour over here. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> Laz really so, yeah, hasn't had to move from that left side of the spawn here, Dory. We'll see what the SM is trying to push. They're coming up the their left side, uh, mm -hmm. 300's right side, but just haven't been able to get past that first tier of defense. The Lions well, as great we, job putting Laymores down. As we remember last week, um, Laz was talking about it. Keep fighting in the middle. If we are, if you are able to, but hold on guys, before I start talking, SM got two down here, and that's the time to push, because they're down 80 to 15, that's one minute to go. Um, yeah, they're pushing with some smoke in here, let's see if they can handle that. Oh, I can tell you, smoke ooh. is always throwing 300 off, I've been a part of AJM it. AJM takes it. Us at this moment right here. Yep. Good that I stopped talking, but can they get out? That's the question. 
two guys really low coming from the back, Trash Panda and Ool saving the bag, which yep. was kind of tricky here. Mm -hmm. And you know, Fool, Fool hasn't been as active yet, so it's been fun seeing these guys get back at it. And I'm glad to see him getting going too. 100%. 100%. Good. Look at this Loy work. Okay. Well, whenever I see a Loy with a crown on the head, I know it's a prodigy. <laughs> because he has it on each and every loadout. Once I told him, bro, maybe you could take it off, and he just goes, no. <laughs> and nasty so, Laskin. Okay, there you go. Maybe, uh, um, bad. Let us, how about you, you tell us what you see on the scoreboard? Well, Laz, as we were saying, was handling the bag, obviously, with 69 points and uh, 5 and 1. That's a pretty good uh, uh, pretty good score here. He just was sitting on that left side of their spawn most of the time, un uh, unchallenged, aside for a couple of times, and he just took care of him with the shotgun. Trash Panda below him, 4, 6, and 3. Prodigy, 6, 5, and 2. Hunter, 4, 4, 2. Cool Riker is three, four, and three, but coming up with a key play there with Trash not letting uh, SM come out with that bag steal. On SM side, Rex, Rex Resist, the infamous Rex Resist, five, five, and one, excellent guy, excellent player. Big Smoke, new to SM, showing up five, seven, and zero. Oh. The Lions also fairly new, although a little bit more. Four, six, and three. AJM, you know, he's not an OG original SM, but he's been there for a while now, and he's, you know, he is there. He's a starter. Four, six, and two. And Decrema Classic, been here a long time. One, four, and one. Uh, we'll see if SM can show up here for station. Um, they just weren't able to get that. You know, they made a nice push with that smoke. I, you know, as I was talking before uh, we started this game, one of the things that I really appreciate about SM is that they make uh, they make conceded efforts to, as a team, come up with a team strategy, you know, and they're a lot of times innovative. And sometimes that can get you in trouble because you might get away from some of the fundamentals or being able to have firepower or whatever else. But they really utilize, uh, you know, certain innovative uh, strategies or innovative attempts at throwing another team mm -hmm. off. You know, they mm -hmm. came in with smoke or they were, they're really, you know, we were talking about that gas meta before uh, Dory. They're, they were using that a lot in this last tier of the tournament and it really worked, you know, and, you know, things like you know, who uses gas on Diana? I was like, well, what? they do. And they made it work and they do that. So Oops. that all of them are on the same page. And so, We'll see if SM, I mean, if anybody can, can take them on, they are a team that can take out 300, but uh, 300 is going strong, coming off 1-0. We'll see what happens in this next map on station. Well, what, is, what I was about to say earlier, Lass always um, preaching fight, and what did he say, the 50-yard line, or kind of, I called the middle of the map, if, sure. if, if there are not two people down, and I actually, I Mid saw Prodigy doing a... Yeah. a good job in it and just you know pushing them out not letting them kind of get in position to make a coordinated push so yeah last had um, his own probably three minutes just you know cleaning up some mines and uh, the rest was kind of fighting in front of not really in the yeah. base but in the middle of the map so that was a pretty good job not Is letting it any coincidence really... that he had 69 points <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was going for that. He's like, give me the bag for one more second, guys. Come on. The man with the plan with 69, baby. Yes. <laughs> That's a win for me. W. Um, w. <laughs> so, yeah, you were totally right, Dory. I mean, and Prodigy is is – Honestly, one of the best players at doing that very tactic is just frustrating teams and not allowing them to even get to the spawn. You know, so frustrating. He, he can, you know, solely himself a lot of times just shut down a complete side of the map. And, you know, whether it's with his SMS, you know, but, you know, it, it's a difference between an SMS sitting back, you know, anybody can kind of do that, right? And sit back and take out some things. It takes a little bit of skill, obviously, with aiming. But he is so hard to take out because he is so such an innovative and really good player. You know, everybody, you know, kind of considers Proud that SMS player, but Proud is one of the best Roto players I've ever seen. He's one of the best players, period. So he's he's really, uh, really good at that strategy. And, you know, Laz was sitting with the bag, but that's the thing about 300 is they can sub out because Laz is a person actually to be up on that high ground with his little shotgun. Yes, he uh, is. 
he is usually that roamer that's doing exactly the proud uh, thing that proud was doing. So 300 is a really good, uh, well-organized oiled machine that they can really just sub out. And you notice when trash picked it up, when they, uh, him and Hul stopped SM from taking the steel out, trash just stepped into the bag thing. And it's funny cause he actually had a Miro too, but it just, it was as if it was the same person playing, you know, it's really, uh, really impressive to see that from a team. Yeah, and traditionally, uh, Hulrecker is uh, a big bag grabber for our team. When he Correct, down. right? He's kind of your bad guy. Yep, yep, he is for sure. And no he didn't about have it. it at all. So, I mean, that really Not even once. Yeah. yeah, and he was at the bottom of the list, but he had a clutch kill at the end, and that's all you need is to step up at the right time. He did a great job. All of them did. SM, yeah. SM needs to push. I think uh, they need to focus on pushing together. Rexorcist, I want to see him dust off that MGL. I know it sucks now. They took that bitch from me too, but he is a nasty MGL when he's out there. All right, so um, 300's asking for one second. Uh, are they Fuck signing that. out? What do you think they're doing here? What the, the map is stationed, so you know, 300 can, uh, can mix and match with any, any player on that team, honestly. So... <clears throat> What do you think they were going to do here, Aries? I think they're overthinking it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, uh, I don't know if they're over. I honestly don't know if they're subbing. I'm not. I haven't paid attention to who is going to be in the in the backup for them to start. Um, what good, what I good just, are you, then? Let's get you. Well, out. not a lot. You guys tapped me out of left field. You know, you came in and told me to shut this bitch down. I'm all about it, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Patient. Let's go. Starting up. All right. Here we get any subs? No subs. I don't think. No subs. No subs. Right. Prodigy's coming down here on the left. Let's see what he does. You got the shield. Shield. Yeah, I almost would have whipped it out right there. Yeah, that, that shield is so nasty, especially on Dutch. Well, he's playing the AR here, so he's if he's gonna get pushed on oh, there's the shield. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He had a good position not yep. to die. Yep. Yep. Self awareness. Oh. oh good that's job, Prod. That was pretty. Yep. Well, they took the position up. on the left. They they are gonna be waiting for the back now, and this looks yeah. like an easy back grab, even though there are three SM guys Dream is left. Coming up from behind, though. Let's see. Oh, 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 that, oh, man. Oh, this is what SM does. They, they create Ooh, long flank. Grenades. Self Hunter. Oh, wow. Hunter saved that, but SM really had a chance. They like to do that. They like to go around okay. into the other spawn, just mine up a little bit, and then all. Crash on the bag, and you saw all four of them were going for it. Yeah. They really had a chance. That was, yeah, a, that was that was a pretty good job from the Diana S S M Diana. Mm -hmm. I'm actually who who is that at the moment? Because That's... he dropped three mines on the on the bag and made last just go off. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't see who it was. Uh, I'll keep an eye out. But I I think what did Hunter play last match? Is that the switch they made? Did he play? I don't Hunter think played. so. Did he play? No, I wasn't sure. Yeah, he was playing in the last game. Hunter is the, I can tell he's the Diana for 300 at the moment, uh, having the back. I was too busy pistol. And, oh, there you go. That was, that was the <laughs> Diana player from SM. Good shit. We got three people pushing here. Let's see if anybody comes to harass them at the 50. Nope, they're all back. We've got a five on five here. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Stacking up nicely. Okay, he's almost done. There we go. All right, mm. three on three, looks like. Four on three. I love it. Well, that's, that looks like a good push right here. But, um, well, 300 already mm. bagged. Just spread out. Just spread uh, out. Hunter doing Ooh. a good job in moving the bag, I guess. Even though he's, uh, uh, Diana is not the best bag holder in the game. Mm -hmm. Even though, oh. He's, he's getting chased in that corner. corner. He might get pinched here. Yep. Dude, Sparty preaches that all day. We need more laymores, man. We need more laymores. He's not wrong. Fucking hey. Holy <laughs> shit. That was a great push, though. I'll give him credit there. Oh, that was really good. Yeah, there's well, there's one more minute to go. And you can see, and I always preach it also, because laymores minds, even though they are highlighted, and sometimes just blocking the way, you can't do much, you can't get out, even though you have to bag. Yeah, so, a highlighted Laymore is maybe a little worse, but it's still very effective. Because people are telling me, but what if the Diana is highlighting everything? It doesn't matter, because you can block a whole way over here. Mm -hmm. yep. 
Start mm -hmm. down the side. You know, it's about placement in a lot of ways, too. You know, you can shut down a side with three, four Lamors and... Black. See, Laz is Moses is busy taking out mines. Lamors, I mean, with his Moses is smart. There's one guy on the back. Oh, no, it's Moses. Trash Panda using the Lando Cannon. I did not really see the Hunter Lando Cannon right there, but Laz is gonna do a good job holding the back with the Moses Lamor layout, loadout. Let's see if SM can do a last push here. 15 seconds to go. But they're going down, three guys down. This is gonna be hard. Oh, and they're dying from yep. Lamors. Yeah, GG Hunter timed up at the right time. Yep. Absolutely. You see the reaction time of Proud and, and Trash right there at the end. They could have uh, left Laz vulnerable actually on that left side, but they just reacted and sent two over and sent somebody up, you know, well organized. So if you're if you're on the SM captain, who what are you telling your team right now? You're down two nothing. Well, I, you know, I think a part of it is stay together, guys. I mean, again, they're missing two of their starters here tonight. So they're really trying to stay organized. Mm -hmm. but SM is solid. I mean, SM, mm -hmm. they, they don't bring anybody into SM that is not worthy of being there. And they've really right. shown, you know, they're an OG squad and they've maintained their integrity from the beginning, even if they've yes. had sort of, uh, uh, you know, bouts or chapters where they've taken a step back. They've come back strong, obviously showing up. I mean, they're missing Ryu. They're missing Papa. I mean, it's tough. And so I'm saying, I, I, I think they're probably saying stick together. Remember our fundamentals. Remember us. Remember who we are. And probably a little bit of, hey, we just lost 19 to 100, but that was not a 19 to 100 loss because they could have had that bag. It came down to one person it at did. that beginning. And honestly, SM had the most innovative strategy, in my opinion. It just didn't capitalize. I think that should have won the bag as far as strategy. Uh, I want to see Dub's trick out there. Power. That's what I want to see. There we go. I'm, uh, Yeah. Yeah, I can only call Hunter was the MVP star. there. 40, 7 and 3 on Hunter, 10 and That's 3 on Laz. Laz had a big game on that one. Big Smoke was 5 and 5, and, and AJ was 5 and 7. I like to see AJ at the top there. He's a classic fucking stone cold killer, is what he is. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And I think Hunter Hunter was doing a good job. I mean, I talked to him so many times and telling him, if you play Diana, you have to move up. So basically. I have a feeling that 300 won because I told him how to play the Diana. Hunter is kind of, you know, <laughs> you know, you know what so I'm true. saying? So, right. so you do not have to, like, kind of talk about that. Like, Hunter is, <laughs> like, watching my videos and he even said, oh, I know how to play it. And I can tell you, Hunter, you're a legend right there because what Hunter did, he was moving up, he was uh, playing the Diana, he grabbed the bag, and he moved his ass out. So that was right. amazing. That's and, right, legends.com, well, baby. So legends. Don't worry, I, don't I should get, but okay, Every that's that's fine. <laughs> What's he always say? Get that. your shit, get your shit pushed in. <laughs> the classic so line, he... get your shit pushed in. He had forty three oh, points and Lines had forty two points. Yeah, clock uh, radio. Uh, <laughs> yeah, good job in moving. I mean, as as we said before, Diana is um, in this matter. Actually, when we have the experimental mode. You need the Diana to move up, move back, move with the team. Uh, mm -hmm. Use a gun that is useful. Um, in my opinion, it's uh, definitely the SMG because you don't have to be too close and you don't have to be too far. You don't have to crouch as with the AR, you probably do have to do that. So the SMG is a pretty good thing to use with the Diana and he was doing just a fantastic job. Uh, good job, Legend. Legends.com. Shout, shout out to yeah. all our non-English speakers as well. We're, I'm seeing some Dutch, some call-outs for Spanish in the chat. Welcome. Big Tweety, Red. the legend, is here. Yeah. Tweety, welcome. Cookie Baller. Oh, Gosh, we, this time. Oh, we cookie. Here we go. <laughs> Talens, let's there get it. Bananas. We love Talens. Love Big time. Red can be our official um, Spanish ambassador. Love his Spanish. Red Sanford also there. What's up, Boro? I love his I trumpet get better than fucking play the mean get trumpet. Red in here for for a break or something well, when we have hey, time. Hey, um, so Dory, that brings up something uh, that we are doing for these finals. On the third game, we are, are inviting uh, anybody who wants to commentate for any of the games. Anybody Ooh. that feels comfortable, you DM me, and I will try to get you in if you are interested. I uh, can't guarantee you uh, the whole series. I can't guarantee you one series. But uh, I can't get, guarantee you one game. But DM me, 
And if you want to commentate, you can sit here with uh, Lord Aries and uh, Bad Guy and Gaylord. Uh, Gaylord and Aries. Gaylord. Gaylord Aries. You know. Oh, uh, this Mr. sounds Red. like Red Sanford is already brushing his teeth right now. And yeah, yeah, yeah. He's brushing Just some his teeth. Box. I'm gonna use that shit. That's funny. Get a lightsaber in there. All right, guys. Let's get back to the game because yep. it's uh, twenty-eight four. Yep, and they have who has the bag with 300, 300 right there, and we can see lamers already doing their yep. job. Last killing people with the lamers, and mm -hmm. great job right here. Let's see if SM. Basically, it's you gotta win the game right now because it's uh, you know two nothing. Yeah, uh, SM be down 3-0. No, you really don't, uh, especially not against the 300 big boys right here. <laughs> As you can see, um, Double was brought in. He's his first game plan. Uh, Dub. Ooh, he's, yeah. he's an OJ SM player. Wow. Yeah, as Red Heart, uh, Red Heart, I said Red Sanford says, uh, coming in rock hard. Well, this is nice. Rock hard. <laughs> Gee, Waiting yeah. for you, Andre. Uh, yeah. He's gonna hop in. <laughs> Trash Panda on the right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> nice, nice, legendary. Seen a lot of Miros out there. I'm liking it. I like that we don't have bands. You know, nothing drives me more crazy than good shit out there, and we can't use it. So, mm -hmm. this has been fun to watch for sure. All right, yeah. we got them stacking up on the left side here. Let's see if they they can come back. There's one down. That's a good flash right there. Oh, it is. And SM is going to push from the left yep. side. Here we go. Down. We got to go four now. On three they here. They need to go. Don't hold back. Come on, AJ. Okay, yeah, oh. they got, they got to. They got. It looks like they're spawning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a great Good flank job, right there. AJ. Really nice flashing, guys. But you gotta push in for the bag, guys. Would they call that the um, reach around? Is that what you call it, Red? That was yeah, weird. the reach around. <laughs> yeah, he's got it. That's a great. <laughs> okay, SM's well, organizing SM... here, coming up on the left again. And this is basically the last chance to do something in that game with the 300 being just so strong, not letting them get really into any kind of team attack right here, but I mean, mm -hmm. maybe that's the one, because they all know that's the mm -hmm. time to push, guys. That's here we go. Right right now. Keep going. That's the question right here. Oh, oh no. Wow. wow. You know, it's frustrating. You can kind of see that with uh, as they were pushing up from AJM's perspective. As he turns to the right, you're just seeing the level of flank coming from 300. You know, they have one person mid, one person coming up behind. They have another, a third person coming up towards the uh, sort of mid left. And then they got two people, the bag and the shadow bag. So mm -hmm. it's so hard to do that. You know, it's one thing if you're pushing up against a group of five people that are all together and you just roto them down, you know, what versus 300 stretches up vertically and then flanks down on top of it. And even against a really organized push team or squad like SM, it can just, just it just cripples it. You know, you saw when uh, just last pushing in, uh, AJM ended up taking them out, but those two people crippled their whole push and it was only AJM left and maybe one other person mm. in their half health. Right. So really, really great defense there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you saw a classic just harassing them at the 50 or, you know, they kind of draw a line and and they don't let them get past that line and they do a great job flanking that's textbook uh you know prodigy's got a great strategy when he puts it in place and you know if we let him go wild on 300 he comes up with some really good strategies yep and he came out on top there 10 and 1 for prodigy 10 1 and 3 trash was uh 77 points that's excellent bag work one kill zero death that's exactly what you want i mean the okay. better than that zero kills i mean you don't want to have your bag person do anything Laz seven five and four, Hulu Rikers six five and zero, oh, Hunter three five and two. That everybody support. Look, look at the assists on the SM side. I mean, that is teamwork if I've ever seen it though. That's it crazy. is insane. We got five assists, five, six, six, and no, six. No, guys, that's not assists. This in this case, that those are deaths, guys. Oh, oh yes, we don't see the whole screen. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little bit of a, that's a little bit of JK a, guys. Like, just kidding. Yeah, we don't see the whole yeah, now we there see we the go. whole thing. 
That's still uh, <laughs> that's so well. Now I feel bad. Just... It spoke to the <laughs> point <laughs> though, because <laughs> SM actually oh. is really good at this. I think they're the one of the stronger ones. That, oh yeah, you know, they're not with their even not with their starters. This is just their their motto. It's their culture of their squad. Is they stay together, um, and they have organized pushes painstakingly organized. I mean, they really do not falter on that. I've only seen them do it a couple of times and it's when they are under really high pressure parts where it starts to fall apart. Here so we go. We'll see what happens coming well, up. There you go. Shift this here. is game is number one of 300 four. home maps. So game number four SM back is against the wall on this one. It's, uh, it's three out. Yeah. It's three out. And they pull a little red on red and come back from down on three. Let's see. Can there be a miracle? I hope. I want to see Game 7, baby. If there's a Game 7, I'm buying whoever's streaming, I'm buying Talon, all all $44 of that uh, orange mod pack, baby. Well, well you're, you're going to owe me $500 after the night's gone. Yeah, you owe me shit. You know you're going to win this too. Come yeah, on. Right. Yeah, right. Okay, the back is down right now. 317 yep. is the time to go. 300, 300 already there, it. but also some SM guys. Yeah. AJ got SM's in there. SM's got, got the bag right here. Good job. AJ if I have put money, that's it's next shoddy all day, is what he's got going on right now. Who are you talking about? I think AJ, isn't he always snack shoddy, or is that... Uh, uh, that's too slow for snack. Yeah. Yeah, it is that's too a, slow. That's a JB. He's got assault rifle and shotgun. Oh, yeah. They pooped up nice. I don't have that guy yet. Let's see if they can I haven't, do any I haven't here. manned up and got him yet. There's that Laymore again. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Flank. Yep, this is a good push. They're oh, avoiding all the bees. Let's Look go. at that land out. Great Diana scans on that. Oh, get, out. get out. Get out. He doesn't oh, have oh. adrenaline. He's got Taser. Oh. Taser Laymore. Oh, and he got help. He got help. He's stuck. He and can't get stuck. out. Oh, There's God. the land out help. There's, that was huge. Ooh, that was a g that saved the game. The double roll by... Oh, he's dancing on him. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. What the fuck, Prodigy? The disrespect. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> oh... Hey, that was Prod's said, Landau when he pushed in, right? That took out three. I think that was him. Yeah. I don't know if that Prod. Uh, had, Prodigy yeah. does not have. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, was that? I think that was Hool, wasn't it? Was it Hool? It was either Hunter or Hool. I thought. Yeah, I, think, I didn't see who it was. I think it was Hool. Yeah, he's rocking the Landau. That's, that's a that really eight. set that. That really set that up. That was a pro move right there. Ooh, got him with the Landau. Yep. Got him. Caught him. Big smoke. Right. Nice. Nice. Exorcist. Nice group in here. Ooh, nice. Diana got the... Uh, smoke is put... Oh, smoke. Oh, Self-inflicted. Mm. See if they can get down there and push together. Still got time, minute and a half. SM really is... They're, they're really patient at pulling the trigger, but I think some of these new guys maybe are just getting used to that uh, strategy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chemistry is so... You don't have chemistry because some of these guys are new. Sometimes it's a huge disadvantage. Especially with SM's game, it's just such a team play. Yeah. They don't have, they got really good players, you know, but it's not like they have a rock star that's just showing up and winning the games. Mm -hmm. They're winning as a team. Oh, absolutely. One uh, we, have a, we have information right here from Kev. It was last to you noobs. I think he's talking to <laughs> Duma. 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 Kev, hey, is Duma, is this my Kevin, like Onyx Kevin? Yeah, I think so. That yeah, that's Onyx Kevin, you noob. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, 30 seconds. This is all or nothing. This is the last push. I gotta get in there and button this shit out. Let's go, SM. Let's go. Okay, here we okay. go. Let's make it interesting. Keep pushing. Watch the landouts. Three. Ooh, there you go. Keep going. Oh, there's okay. another one. Yeah. Good push right here, guys. Come on. Yeah. 15 seconds. Come on, guys. Come on. 15, 15 seconds. Nice. Okay. Yeah, Tag down. down. Tag down. Come on. You got it. Oh, oh my God. They got pinched. They got the flank. Oh, man. That was amazing, guys. That was really that was good. A great push, SM. That was, I that mean, was hats nice. off on that push. Brass dancing, oh, yeah. enjoying the win. Fucking prodigy. <laughs> Fucking kids, Fucking I tell prodigy. you what. Can't take kids anywhere, can you? And that is nah. it. 300 OG is taking out SM. SM, uh, you know, pr uh, hats off to you guys. You, you're showing up. You're missing some starters. I mean, you really get you hung in there and showed uh, what SM pride's about.
Um, good to see Dub double come in. I know I'm sure you were, you know, just itching to get in and not not being able to play. I'm sure for the first couple, but I'm sure you're missing Papa and Ryu and all that. But way to go, way to show up, way to get to the semifinals. Uh, we're you know, excellent job. And uh, hats off to 300 OG. I believe they are the only undefeated team in the tournament. Is that correct? Am I going crazy here? Um, don't ask me. That might be Hugo knowing, but guys, we have. You can real ask me. I'm all here. about going crazy. I know it. We have me. a we have a real legend in here, and guess who it is, guys? Uh oh. Who is it? Speak up. Oh, Hugo. It's yeah, Hugo. Baby. No. Yeah, oh, baby. Hugo. oh, prodigy. Yeah. Uh, the one and only, the dancing king. I love God it. Fucking kid. Oh, y'all saw it. Y'all saw it. Yeah, we, we were saw. on you. <laughs> 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 oh, brother. We said no bands. Disrespect. <laughs> exactly how it was. Going. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Excellent job, <laughs> Proud. How do you feel about tonight? I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Are you guys undefeated in this tournament? Uh. I believe so, but I believe you are, me. and that is the only, only team because I think War US lost one game. <clears throat> so, mm-hmm. how you feeling? Excellent well, win. Pretty good, actually. You know, great, uh, great commentary by you guys. I was trying to stream snipe, but it's a delay, so it didn't really go work for me. Stream <laughs> snipe this fucking guy. Yeah, uh, I got. It's, well, it's kind of distracting. Kind of listen Hello? to Dory. Dory's yeah. sexy voice. Hey guys. Hey, hey Rex, welcome to the Hi, booth, Rex Persist. Rex Persist. What's going on, fam? Excellent job, but we were just were saying, you know, it had been tough missing a couple of your starters here coming into today. You yeah. have, uh, have some some of the newer SM people along with a couple of the OGs, three of the OGs coming in. I know AJ, I consider him an OG now too, even though he's not original, but oh, he uh, is, excellent sure. job, excellent job, SM. Uh, how, how did it feel going up against that? It's just rock solid well-oiled machine of 300 og well i mean it's never never easy you know it's always fun when we when, when we went and beat them occasionally at night so they're just they're always a monster team and you know tonight we had we're, there's no excuses man with every everybody in our team can suit up and play and do a good job absolutely and uh today 300 was the better team and we congratulate them and god they're just a monster fucking group of players it's 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 always fun to go against them well said. Yeah, it's one of the things that we had talked about with SM that, you know, it, this you can't really say this about every squad, but I it, I don't care who it is who's playing. If I'm playing against SM, I'm playing against SM. You know, you guys <laughs> might have your starters, but you really foster a great culture and a great uh, training system and a great just solid squad. It doesn't matter who you play. So I think you're right. You guys had some really great pushes showing SM's power, your patience, your organization, painstaking organization. I mean, you know, you're getting flanked. I remember on Talansk a few times where it's like, you really had a chance, a couple go down, and then, you know, Laz comes around with a flank, and you got to take care <laughs> of it. Right. So, you know, right. it, it, it really showed uh, that you guys are you guys are the big boys. And so, well, yeah, that's congrats a on getting... Board there. For sure. Well, we, you know, we, uh, we appreciate it. And it was, you know, it, <clears throat> we made the semifinals and, you know, with, with, we were amongst some of the, you know, the best in the community at, at, at this point. And we just, you know, we, uh, I don't think any of us are going anywhere, you know, kind of, I think like, you know, a lot of y'all's teams, but, you know, I think this has become a really fun game and we look forward to growing and having every single member in our roster, uh, a starter at any time and look forward to growing that with you guys and, and continuing the shit. Right, if, I, if I'm not if I'm not misunderstanding Rexo or Sist, can I? I think it'll be easier for me to just call you Rexo. <laughs> oh, you but, can call uh, me Rex, brother. You can just call me Rex. Rex. Oh, that that sounds even better. Rex sure. is kind of a little bit. The, the, <laughs> that's the German side that I just brought up, I guess. The German. But, um, Rex, I can see Deutsch, Re- baby. Yeah. <laughs> right. Kind right. Of Deutsch, yeah. But Rex, uh, you were playing the Diana. Is that correct? That's me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so those three minds I mentioned when Laz was just flying on station. Yeah. I mean, he was he was basically landing on Area Thirty Nine, I think. So that was just, <laughs> those those three minds were just amazing. And oh, thank you, brother. Job. I really like that. Yeah, yeah, well, I appreciate that, man. It was, Rex, it was. I was hoping you're gonna dust off the old MGL, even though they nerfed our favorite weapon. I tell you what, dude. That that was like the worst first two. I mean, that was the worst nerf so far to date for me. I mean, I know oh, you too, brother. You oh, and I, yeah. 
gone against you shit so many times, Moses uh, MGL. So many times, L- laughing, yeah. you know, shooting each other, laugh faces. But dude, oh, it's, yeah. yeah, they've got to do something to bring it back. I understand the missile defense is necessary, but man, losing a a gun that you know three gold mods fucking sucked. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> and it cuts off half of your loadout because I mean you are just right. you know, known for being that support, amazing well, support mm-hmm. person, hard well, to take I, down. SM. Right. Well, I mean, and I, you know, I, my I'm not sure where everyone else's JB skills are yet. I haven't played with them enough to even think of to even be audacious enough to bring them right. up against 300 in a tournament yet. You know, so yeah. But uh. Absolutely. Well, I, hey, Shaq, it, guys. I just wanted to tell you this. Every single Diana mine you kill me with, I never saw the damn thing. I was so <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I was going to say Dory brought it up, but I think Dory, I'm going to agree with you. I think that's our outstanding play for this match. And uh, Thanks, man. It, it, it was excellent. Good stuff. It's, really, it's really fun yeah. to watch you guys. I mean, I, you know, I feel like I'm learning. I'm, you know, watching a master class or something on pushes and organizing, mm-hmm. as well as on uh, 300 Welcome Last to the Booth. Uh, on flanking and going vertical with the defense and not sticking to get, you know, and then right. really having that organized, uh, organized uh, defense as well as anything, you know, strategy. You're pushing at the 50, you got 50, 40, you got a roamer, you got the bag, you got the shadow bag. I mean, it's really, really fun to see you, both of these squads play. Well, yeah. So, hey, yeah. Hey. Hey guys, um, sorry to uh, interrupt, but we've got uh, we've got like three four minutes until we get the next game going on. So, um, sure. Also, just to let you know, we got um, uh, SM or, and Val coming up for the three uh, for the third place third place game. Third place game. I also uh, want to extend that invitation to anybody who wants to guest announce. I've got I've got some DMs coming in. If you want to do it, let me know. Uh, other than that, hey, this is a third place game. It's still a great matchup. What do you guys think about this matchup here? Thanks, guys. I'm gonna go get my team ready so y'all can give an unbiased opinion. Yeah, I'm gonna go later, uh, boys. Guys, too. Good luck, Sounds guys. Good. <laughs> good All right, thanks, guys. See you later. All right, let's check out the third place in the finals map. So there, we're gonna be switching it up here. So for this third place decider. Which again, as Hugo said, SM versus Valhalla is coming back. So Ika is coming back. Polska is coming back. Area. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, you just said Polska. I needed to interrupt you. I, yes, I you absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But my, my brother Grimlock, yeah, he's uh, my, my Polish blood. You know how it is. Yes, the Akshimash. Yes, the Akshimash. That's Aries. I know. He's probably got some Polish <laughs> friends. I know. They're awesome. I know that. <laughs> um, so I'm looking I'm forward to that, man. Just a second, guys. I'll be right back. No okay. problem. Sounds good, Dory. Uh, yeah, we're okay, going to have so, fun with this third match. Yeah, so uh, we're going to put the uh, we are going to put the codes in soon once the teams are ready. Valhalla looks loaded. SM looks loaded. All right. And, we're seeing, uh, we're- we're, I put it out there. Anybody wants to commentate? We're getting nominations, but nobody's actually voting themselves. I've They've got, got a couple D-dub people. Been nominated. Cookie's been nominated. Okay. Okay. D Dub's good. D Dub. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I want some D-dub. cookie. Love, hey guys, love. it's D Dub. It's D Dub. Hey, Larry. D Dub. D Dub. D Dub. Hey guys, D Dub. D Dub. D Dub and Cookie would be great. I know. I know. Hey guys, um, just make sure you uh, stick together, a buddy system, have a battle buddies, and uh, we're going to take this bag back together, guys. It's spot <laughs> on. It's spot on. This is the dub, and I just, uh, so, all right, it's okay. It's all right. We'll get the bag back. All right, just relax. Get your battle buddy. Shout out, uh, one of the most, one of the best teachers to be honest. He's so generous with, uh, and, you know, I saw that 999 tag, D dub, and, I have a feeling if D Dub's there, it, he could he could put nine 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 on the fucking map. One hundred percent agree. One hundred yeah. percent agree. If he is organizing, and he did it with K pop back in the day, oh. I mean, he basically took this group of guys, and it was just fun, you know. Uh, and he put them up there, man. It was like overnight, within maybe a month or so, oh. they are the top four squad. So, and you know what's funny is K-pop is what put 300 on the map because we were in customs true. with them nonstop in preparation yeah. for their rare yeah. only tournament. Yeah. We would go, we would go epics first their rares, and we were getting mopped left and right. I mean, it was crazy how organized they were. 
And you yeah. know, you know who taught uh, 300 from K-pop? G Wild, yeah. baby. Rockets the on the right. Hey guys, Rockets on the right. Think, I think they on the right. Uh, dub and not D Dub. Am I correct? S M. Okay, D Dub. I'm getting call outs for D Dub, but D Dub. Okay. Hey, so, hey guys, it's D Dub. So I want to uh, let you know we got some guests in here coming in. I I, I think we should bring in Mr. Red Sanford to start us off, huh? What do you think? Oh, yeah, definitely, I'm guys. I'm all in on that. Red. Come on, Red. Come Give on, me a little reach around. Come on. But Red is telling us on YouTube that Hugo is ignoring my DMs. Hugo. Oh, wow. wow. Hugo. Oh, yeah, You're getting called out on the stream. All right. All right. We well, definitely I mean, need like... Red in here. And, and Curly. Commentating. Yeah, Curly's hype boy in the bag. Damn, cuz. Red, get, get your I fucking see. ass in here. the retox. From hey, Austria, Steve Weber right is Aries, there. by the way. What's up, Retox? Retox. All right, Retox. Mr. Red Sanford, everybody. Mr. Red Sanford himself. Oh, and, uh, shit. I'm going to rock hard. Looks like <laughs> Hugo's been ignoring my DMs for some time, but I just <laughs> wiggled my way in. You know, I have permissions, but I was practicing restraints. <laughs> I, I, I didn't respond for a minute, and he says I'm ignoring him. So I don't know. Just remember who your VP is, all right, buddy? Don't you forget <laughs> it. You. <laughs> Yo, Red, man. Good to see you. Good to hear you. Nice to have you around. It's an honor to be on the mic, honor to share the mic with some of my favorite people in the game, and very excited about this next match SM versus Val. That's going to be a really fun one, a nail biter, to say the least. What's your, Red, what's your opinion on both of these teams? I'm a huge fan of SM. I've been watching them since back in the Fight Club days, studied a lot of their game tape, um, and they actually got me into, you know, wanting to stick together and to get a squad going. So I'm a huge fan of them. Um, Val Squad is just one of those boogeymen from the EU who you bump into in the wild, you know, every now and then. Um, and they're an amazing squad. I watched them a lot on Phoenix, um, ran into them quite a few times, even had the honor of playing in a few matches with some of them. But... Um, it's two solid squads, two completely different play styles from two parts of the world. So, yeah, I mean, have respect for both teams. Looking forward to it. Nice, nice. I just, hey, game on. Game, game on, area. On, Here we go. Red, take the, take the mic. And right? we're off. Capture the bag. Area 39. Oh. SM versus Val Squad. <laughs> Starting off oh, with guys, a Diana, I'm... providing a little coverage, lighting up the sky. We got an attacker on the top, and ooh, the Diana can't ooh. get taken out. Missile defense ooh. kicking in. Clutch. But we still have an attacker Pro on the move. top. That's how we got it. Heavy presence on the top left. And let's see if these guys can provide a small glass of fuck you and get that bag before it drops. Oh, oh sorry. This is Memphis. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this show right here. I'm going to mute myself. Watch and watch and, watch 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 and the bag has dropped. Red Hopefully they can get this bag, but no. <laughs> <It's> getting <laughs> back on the red team in the chamber, trying to get out of there. And they bought the ooh, ooh, little more than he can chew as he got shocker. Grimlock. The bag is taken out. Grimlock. Rimlock taking them one to more? the wiki. Come on, one no. more. Um, no, not on that one. The bag is safe at home, being held at the left. You need we can to get stay that behind there. Um, you can't. He needs to go back. Yep, there you go. Smart move right there. Oh yeah, that's good bag awareness. Very good bag awareness. They're setting up a solid push here on the grass side. Chenli Cannon clearing out the mess, and we only got two, one man down. Two supporting the bag. The bag is in a safe spot with the sniper. Diana overhead marking them so that we don't get no shabonings. <laughs> shabonings. I love shabonings. Missile defense. The rockets coming in here, here. Mark. Oh, yeah. Missile defense is the new meta. Those rockets aren't doing much like they used to. Mm -hmm. And the mine is more for recon there on the Diana. We got those mines in there, so maybe we could get a little wiggle room, provide some depth. Grimlock holding that nice position with his anti-airs and keep just missed him. Gosh, damn it, residence on the grass. Grimlock is just putting in work right now. I know Coming he doesn't have the bag. Vehicle, oh, the bag grab, causing a melee. Maybe took out an air defense or two. They got a chance here on the bag grab. Coming in rap hard with the shield. Little taser. Shield on taser. Shield. Get that bag out of here, but he's by himself. He needs a nice attack to get it back out of there. We got some attackers coming in on the high ground. Well, by himself. 
but that cannon could probably cause a little problem. Yeah, like you got one on the high ground here. They're starting to push from the left here, laying down that shit. Now, if they have a land out cannon, that would be massive right now. There's so much shit in that corner. And so you need bag awareness, good. moving the bag to the left. I love it. They're going to need a real strong handy boy reach around to get that bag. When SM gets the bag in this map, especially with those anti airs, it's going to be hard to penetrate that. And that's a real yeah, tight hole. You got you good penetration. Do you know how to get good penetration? No. I mean, you're going to need to lube it up like he just did there with the mine. Exactly. Hopefully some land now that will land now. And they, they can get in there. Ooh, it would be deadly. Get that's a that great push. They there. got him pinched. Oh, now there it goes. A little out. San Diego sweep and run back home. Hopefully there's no sweep mines the leg, on the Johnny. exit. There you go. Yeah. And Ow. Valhalla's getting back home, setting up a nice secure position, mm -hmm. see if they can bring them to Pantel. That was a classic patient push by Val. I mean, they've been struggling all game to get penetration, and all of a sudden now they got the bag, and it's 40 seconds left in the game. Going steady. That's what it was. They worked at it little by yes, little. Sir. Set up a permanent residence on the grass and moved in right on time. Yep, 100%. Bomb once again got the bag. I mean, that's what he's been doing all day. Now getting it back is going to be a trick, but we have a nice push getting set up here in the zombie chamber, but also dangerous because they could all get killed, so they need to spread out and move in fast. Yeah, for sure. I like the gas move here, trying to flush him out of that corner. Maybe some premature e land dilation. Oh, got him. I see what you did there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And there we go, overtime, just when you thought the game was over. We have more time! And we're <laughs> on with some we more have... action. Gave him a little axe. And they got a whole lot of push. Nice push. A decent push, but they should take out two before they push Ooh, in. Oh, there we go. Gun. Now we're never, boys and girls. Let's get them. Yep, you gotta move in hard. Landau's coming in Ooh, hard, but that Roto, Roto is telling them no no. <laughs> he pushes them back. And the bag is still safe, and the clock is ticking. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that AR, that AR guy. put in work on him right there. Or that AR yeah. is definitely a game changer. I gotta yeah. say that. Yeah. yeah there that's you go. He's in charge of life. Please. That's gonna be tough. Yeah. One final hail mary, but the clock is ticking. Oh, bag's, bag's down. Bag's down. Bag's down. We got ourselves this rodeo. Yeah, they need an SMS that can hit that bag and keep keep knocking it out. Yeah, it's a hell of a to save this one. Yeah, they need to get behind a wall. Oh, yeah. Wow. wow. Solid it was a nail biter. I called it before it happened. These two squads mm -hmm. are very good, and they both just played with their brains for this match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a tough, it's a tough, you know, that's, there's no worse feeling when you drop the oh. bag after you've held it for so long. I mean, you just feel sick as a team, you know, and, and to get it back is just such a mental mental mind fuck honestly it's it's a difficult thing to do especially on this map there's a lot of time that gets eaten up running from one side to the other on this map scoreboard on the val side says a gr amazing story you know on that bag grab the teamwork look at those assists alone um how much they had to really yeah. push it together yeah. to get back there because it was a slow push but it worked at the end because we thought definitely sm had it there for a long time yeah so beautiful beautiful so what's the next map what do we know? Uh, next map is that was that was area correct. So we got depot. Love yep, love it. Okay. Depot, depot. I love depot. I wish I could yep. play depot over and over and over again. It is so fun. I mean, obviously the Landau session in the smorgasbord under the bag when you first started is just incredible. But the the board's so wide open that you can't. You, you can't protect the bag fully. You are always a little bit exposed. And if you're a good team at rushing, you'll get the bag back. And I love it because it's a back and forth map. Area or depot? Favorite De map? De uh, depot for me. Depot is my favorite. Yeah, I I think I'm going to have to go area. Uh, depot. I think I'm going to have to go depot as well. Hey, hey, Red. Hey, Red. Thank you so much, bro. If we, um, if we, it was an we honor. Have, Thanks for having if me. If we have room for you in the, uh, in the next couple games, can you come back? Is that okay? Shoot, shoot me a message. I'm around. I'm gonna be in the stream trolling you, Hugo, and don't ignore yeah, my dude. DMs. I wouldn't have it any other way. I would. <laughs> Take care. Thanks, Story, <laughs> Aries, Talon, Emmy. Yeah, everyone. brother. It's my OG friend right there. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. The great Red Sanford, everybody.
Um, yeah. So next Thanks up, so much, Red. I want to introduce uh, yeah. one of the, the founding members of the WNC when it was still the WNC and, and not Iron Forge, Mr. Emmy. Mr. Emmy. Oh, I'd like to extend that. One yeah. of the founding members of WNC, uh, a co-captain of Bolts, and one of the gayest guys I know. <laughs> so gay. Emmy. So gay. Tactical. We're queued, We're queued up. <laughs> Emmy, how Emmy, you doing, buddy? Tactical. Uh, doing good, doing good, guys. Awesome, Thanks for awesome. having me. Tell me, tell me about, so tell me that, tell me about what's going to go on here. This is Depot, bro. Yeah, yeah. Dude, uh, Emmy doesn't even know about this game. This is tactical, Emmy. I know you're rich now and you have a new job <laughs> and all this stuff. So like, <laughs> we call this Depot. Train in the middle. Oh, good. Oh, right I, it's not with the tank and the uh, and the ice. The tank yeah, that comes no. out of the ice. That was, no, that's that was a great bag by, by Shout out to Lola there. that doesn't know what a tank or a submarine or <laughs> an office. Doesn't know what anything is. Savage. Fucking Still doesn't savage. know what this savage. map is. But yeah, this one you know, is actually... Train. train in the middle. That's how we identify this one. <laughs> that was a huge bag grab by, by SM. I mean, they had five yeah, this is people actually... at the bag. One of SM's really good maps. Uh, they, yeah. get, they do really good bag grabs and they really like to set up on that high ground, and they have a mm-hmm. good vision of the whole map when they're there. I mean, why are people going over to that left side where those pillars are? Why are they doing that? Everybody does that. Yeah, so uh, there's a couple of advantages there. First of all, you have the high ground, you see the left side really good, but what people don't understand is you also see the right side from, uh, I can't see the names here, but where they're sniping. You can basically just, you can't get the team to uh, team up anywhere if they're uh, teaming up on the right side, you call it, you flank it, and if they come on the left side, you know it in advance. So it's a really good tactical advantage, and you have room to fall back, which is I, I think they're getting pushed back deal. now. They're oh, there they are. They're getting pinched right now. Yeah, yeah but if you yeah. get the Eagles right back there down. in that realm in the middle, he's going to be mm-hmm. able to be like, ooh, takes him out. That's mm-hmm. him a chance here. No doubt. Hey, and uh, guys, just to let you know, there's a little bit of a halftime show coming up on this break in between games. Oh, just to be prepared. A little halftime show, okay? Well, I just got a boner. Well, oh, don't, don't, don't admit that on the screen. That's inappropriate, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas doing a good job, but although he's going down on the right side. Mm. Yeah, well, Hall's doing a good job of pinning him down. Uh, SM's running out of spaces to run into with the bag. There's still a couple land outs, a couple things. Upset that defense. Yeah. You but, guys throw yeah. Red Sanford and Emmy in the chat room and you expect me to behave? I mean, come on, guys. Dude, I, I'm <laughs> counting on you not behaving. I'm counting on it. Hey, hard. I got, I got 20 here. bucks says Thomas gets somebody before the end of the match. I'll, I'll Who take Who wants you. it? All right, a minute. All right, five bucks. I don't get out of bed unless it's five. There's Thomas, I'll guys. Guys, five. guys while, while I'm listening, Dory here having his dinner finally. Uh, we got Oh My Goddess Abby asking and uh, he wants you guys with a man voice to describe the map. Who's taking care no of problem. Problem. Star, star. the bad this, star? This yeah. is the... Hello, this is Bad Star speaking for Red Sanford and we are on Depot, aka Train in the Middle. Train go, no go, rock hard on the right, coming in, beat the, blowing out the smoke. So Abby gave me a really good laugh last night because we're playing station and Star told me for the longest time she thought there's a tank in the middle of the station. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I was laughing for around five minutes. Non-stop. No, I was talking about Polansk. I said, it's a, it's a gray city with a tank. She goes, okay, the one with the snow? I'm like, no, there's no tank. What are you talking about? She goes, you know, the thing in the middle, the tank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got 30 seconds. This is it right here. Go, crazy. Go. We got a crazy we got a, we got a Chiron. Crazy. Yeah, Any, he's waiting to do his ready? thing. Any yeah, he's ready? gonna take that out last minute. All right. Going for it right now. Bag. Yeah. Oh, go. good roll. The good roll. He missed it. Oh. Ooh. Did he take oh. it? Wow. That was a huge double knife. Oh, he's he's the crap. You can't get it. Oh, oh no, nah, that's four land kills. On my Nicholas. Or by that's it, that's game. Unless someone has a rocket, that's it. Yeah, we're gonna make it there. Right. Yeah. That's beautiful. Nice job, insane, great land out. Wow. Nicholas had that. He just blocked it. You saw him. You called it. Sorry to interrupt, yeah. dude. Everyone, the one and the only, Emmy. Thank mm-hmm. you.
sounds to kill by. From damn, damn, damn Emmy, hats off. <laughs> we are screaming from now. That was really I'm nice, real, guys. Now I'm really wet and horny, oh. boys. Come on. That was, <laughs> yeah, that was sexy. Baby. Yeah. All I need is yeah. Red to come in with a trumpet there and just join in smooth and soft. <laughs> <laughs> we're from streaming Quebec. live. <laughs> we're streaming live from Italy on the set of Oceans 14, Brad Pitt scene. <laughs> Excellent job. <laughs> uh, well, Abby, that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Abby. Abby and it's Duma, I want, uh, want him to sing. <laughs> yeah. Emmy, hey, Emmy, thank you so much. That was really beautiful. And uh, I'd like to invite one of my oldest friends to, uh, to the booth, uh, a man who is the captain of 999. Uh, once he's done his dab and uh, – and he's got his head out of his ass. He'll unmute and, and introduce himself. <laughs> but we're ready to start up here. And uh, I love you, bro. Come on. <laughs> unmute your damn self. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Here comes we playing. Got, uh, we got playing. Laz is yelling right now. North wind, north wind, north wind. Like, what the <laughs> I can fuck hear him in my ears. Why you it's just north the of the turbine. It's, 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 I, I don't it. know. I don't know North and South. I, like, I, got, I use Google Maps. Fuck? <laughs> you fucker following the blue line all, all, all <laughs> Yeah, I'm not doing you anything gotta, else. You got to freestyle that shit once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You've never, it's been fun to be lost. Jesus! Hello, hello. Hello, Mr. Jesus. Tyler, everybody. Tyler. Tyler. I do. Mr. Zeus, what's going on there, Jesus? How we doing, Reese? I need to crank your volume up a little bit, brother. I like it. <clears throat> yeah. He's got that sexy smoker cough. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that sexy, uh, sexy smoker laugh too. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all making me blush over here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Jesus, tell me, tell me a little about uh, anything about this game. What, what, how are you feeling? Like watching these games, or you know, what's going on with this one? Oh, honestly, I was at work and I've been watching <laughs> bits and pieces of what I could. Um, they've all been really close, exciting. Um, to be honest, I missed out on the uh, 300 versus SM. Okay. Um, other than that, I mean, you know, the hell is strong. I mean, we had to face them first round. They um, they got they all run shields. They got one Diana that runs all the time. So I mean, it, that is a great fucking combination. I oh. did not think that until we ran against them. Um, you know, 300 and War, they got their own little swag. They do their own little thing. Then they can switch up on each map. So I mean, it's gonna be really exciting depending on who who we get to see on the finals. <laughs> Um, Go ahead. But it, you're good. So I mean, you know, it, it's going to be really exciting, and I'm. That's all I, all I can really Who's say, win? man. I mean, Who's wait till yeah. I love it. Who's winning? Good analysis. Who's, Who's winning though? Who, who who you got your money on? Uh, honestly. Right here. Oh, good Diana grenade. Is that down? Oh, good land out. What is the score of this match, guys? <laughs> 57-14. Oh, it's so tied 1-1. One, one. Tied 1-1, one, one. okay. Yes, sir. This is, yep. second, this is the second map, so this is... Oh, this, this is, is the third map. One, third. One, one. Yeah, we did... One, one. We did... Yeah. The area... Or not area. Yeah, we did area and we did uh, depot. Oh, man, I love Bomb you. Bomb takes it away. Yeah, That's so... Good. 300 versus... All day. Finals... I, I got my money on war. That's just my opinion. Mm. You know, I I really want to say 300 could take it, man. It, and 
It could go either way. It could go either way. Yes, way. yes. I mean, you know, my my money and my theory is is whoever gets that bag first. You know, they got the best odds of winning. But at the same time, you know, both of these slides can throw a hell of curveballs. It can change mm -hmm. it up. It's I love it. I mean, in no, my no. opinion. You, it, it's gonna be great. It's gonna great, be a great fucking show. It's gonna be close. I'm sure whoever gets the bag, it's gonna go back and forth. Y'all know. Yeah. Yeah. You said not, it. You said it. Both teams can mix it up and throw curveballs. That's exactly not, right. Not to mention the long-standing, uh, you know, history that some of the players have on this stuff. I mean, there's some. Yes. There's there's some bad blood in there. I'm not gonna name any names, but man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> not gonna name any names. Oh I'm not gonna name any names. There's no man. blood. We love each other. We love each other. each other. <laughs> no, war is family, man. War is family. Oh yeah, it. we. You got it, oh, dude. dude. All of them. Trips, yeah. my boy. Fucking. You know who's putting in? You know who was putting in unsolicited work? Uh, fucking eleven was putting in some work today. I'm down. Oh. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's huge. Man. That's a huge steal right there. Uh, Get yeah, behind there. Yeah, yeah that's, that's gotta be it. it. Unless there's a Sharon. Wow. Oh, oh, that's amazing. SM. SM. Okay. So it's it's two one after playing. Next one, Sky. That was huge. Crema, big win right there. Fifty nine points on that one. Holy shit. That was a great. That was a great match. I love the back and forth. Anytime you got teams that are going back and forth, you know, you know that you're in for a hell of a fight. You know, right, I prefer yes, right. seeing that. Yeah, Eric, since you were mentioning it, yeah, Eleven basically got two games for War Squad. I think oh, that, yeah. that could be a guy for the semifinals. Uh, and that was really stepped it up. But for three games in a row, I noticed he was a top killer in War Squad. <laughs> That's not easy. He really turned some games around for them. Yeah, his SMS work is is amazing as well. I think that goes yeah. uh, under, yeah, underrated. Just... And I've hey, noticed he's one of the guys that does AR on any map. Yeah, yeah, his AR work is just something to take notes on. <laughs> Fucking go to class on that shit. Hey guys, some of the girls wanted to come in and commentate. Yeah, how, how do you feel about that? I would love that. Uh, we're calling out oh. Lola. We're calling out whoever is welcome. Stormy D. Get her ass in here. Little Stormy. Little Stormy. Get her ass in here. I think they need to get up here. I, let me see who's running running the uh, the codes real quick. We can call somebody up. Uh, but I think we need some uh, females in here. Uh, Stormy's actually running the codes, so I don't know if she'll be able to come out right now. Uh, but, hey, Jesse and Lola, come on that up. Is that is a good point. We just got that we as commentators, let's talk about this game. You know, we got some SM people watching their fellas. We got some people from Valhalla. Let's let's make sure we're commentating on this game too. Thanks, Kevlowski. We appreciate you. And we know that your boys are out there and you're you're supporting them boys. So let's do it. And uh and a thanks to Jesus for coming in and uh doing some guest commentating, my man. By the uh, no problem, Thank thank y'all for having me. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, man. Tyler. Yeah, Jesus V, baby. The one and only. Hey, hey. Zeus. <laughs> oh, shit. Speaking of hey, Zeus, fucking Zeus is in the house. We need to get fucking Kobe in here. Go. Oh, oh damn. Oh, I just saw his comment on the, on the feed. Live from Israel, baby. The Holy Land. <laughs> need, need to get his ass in here. I can go find him if you want. I'm sure he's listening. Okay, so well, we'll let you, we'll we'll let you manage guys, that. We'll let you manage guys, that. You know what? Um, I, I, I'm I'm getting. Uh, I got a call from from the upper office, and they said that we need to talk about the game. Let's focus on this SM versus Valhalla. They yeah. are in their spot. Let's give them their shine. Going towards the bag here, Valhalla. See what they do mm -hmm. on this bag bag grab here on Sky. SM is yep. going for it a little bit. We'll see. Ooh, yep, taken out. Still got a two SM people yep. in here. Bob's taking the bag. Bob, Let's see if he gets out. Fucking bag. Oh. Taking down Ika's low health, too. I think SM can take this Ooh, back. Good nice land, land, out, land all by Nicholas. Holy shit, Nicholas. Mark that shit down. That's my fucking eighth play of the game. Holy shit. Well, that, that was a game decider right there. Yes, sir. The it yeah, absolutely was. Uh, doing a job. Taking down three guys and securing the bag. Good job, Nicholas, right there. 
Uh, as I feel like I had to step up and be back here and talk about the games because you guys just chit chat. Those are the finals. <laughs> this is like going for the third place and it's 2 1 if I'm not misunderstanding. But I was down 2 1. Is that correct, guys? Yes. All yeah, right. Look at SN. SM and for that push. They're gonna and get people don't realize the difference in gold between between fourth and third place is significant here. This is no slouch of a fucking prize for third and yeah. fourth place. Fifty thousand right now. It's a lot of gold. Fifty percent more more of art. Excellent back grab, <laughs> back steal with that uh, big smoke uh, coming in representing SM, the newest player I believe to the squad, doing a great job today. SM coming back, you know, I think they're coming you know, with a little bit of vengeance from 300. Um, definitely, um, I need to go to the comment section right here, and we have um, Juice, uh, Curly, everybody telling us to make the screen bigger. We have a big black frame. Yeah, big around black it. frame around it so if we can do something about that right now that would be great if not we will handle this after that game notice yeah, we'll the beginning of the game it was full screen it then bent down for some reason midway yeah we'll fix that after this game it's bigger than my iphone i'll give him that <laughs> so it's i'm doing a pretty good job on um, msm he's always there for his team he's always supporting no matter in or out yeah. I really like that energy. Uh, it's a guy you always see. He's always there for his team. I could appreciate that too. I mean, you know, it's like yeah. it's like whether you're on the bench watching, you're still the same team. And SM is one of those really sure. strong squads. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. really I, great example for team culture. I'll, I'll tell you a mess yes. that I hate playing them on. They're dirty on every control match. Their Absolutely. mines and laymore placements, not just in bag grabs, but I mean, they have strategies for everything. You know, most people neglect those maps, and they're they're deadly. Hate hate yeah, running into them. Yeah, they got it. Yeah, Nicholas, what a great job! job. Here. Valhalla is taking the bag, but the question oh. is, can they pick it out? No, they cannot. Great That's save. a pretty good job. Stop in. And as you say, no, Ari, so facing delay mores, facing Yo, mines. Undefeated. Setting themselves up, so good job from SM here. And the question is, can they go up 3-1 against the mighty Valhalla squad from the European Union? <laughs> I think what you're going to see here is Bomb killed himself with Harold and he's coming back Sharon right now, and I think you're going to oh, see that, that. That's a good push right here. And all of the SM guys Nicholas almost down. We've got to keep pushing. Nicholas is a Nicholas. Here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah. wow. Dub gets the job done for his team to just spawn the bag again. Wow. That's, that's twice that Nicholas was alone with the bag. He's doing a good job of just being patient. Okay, they're throwing they smoke in. Bringing in the gas for Sharon. Go back to that bag. There's a Sharon. Oh, it's a Zloy. I mean, that's ineffective right now. That's a great, great call on that bag. That's no, yep. not an easy game to beat Valhalla 3-1. 3 to 1. 3 to 1. That's a huge win. For sure. Big smoke. smoke. You called it, bad. Yeah, uh, so you yeah, you're you're exactly right. Big smoke coming up on top over there with the bag. 52 points, 4, 3, and 3. Dub 4, 7, and 4. Insane on top over there with SM at 8, 7, and 3. Decrema, 7, 8, and 2. AJ five five and four, nice solid uh, round out there. Nicholas really, I think, was the MVP over there. Really getting the bag, almost getting the bag twice alone. You know, fighting for that. You know, tooth and nail. Nine five and two. Ika's over eight eight and two. Grimlock, pull scuff forever. Seven seven and one. Bomb three seven and four. And then crazy down there at one three and five. Uh, we're gonna be loading up this next game. Um, give us one minute here, and we're gonna try to fix that that scene. Uh, Talon, can, can you mute us here for a second?
I appreciate that. I think we fixed that uh, display scene a little bit better here and uh, let us know if anything happens furthermore. But we're going to be going into now. Let's see. Three and one, I believe, SM is up, correct? Yes, sir. That's right. right. That's correct. We're going to be going into Sky. Uh, not Sky, sorry. Uh, Station will be next. Ooh, love it. Stuff. Let's see if we get some minds on the fucking sub. I want to see somebody else get sent to fucking area. <laughs> Absolutely. And this this is station. This is uh this is best of seven rather. So yeah. we're, they have a chance. I mean, they're not they're not down. It's a oh. tough spot to be in though. Down three one. I mean, I think it kind of gets gets at the morale a little bit. You kind of have to your backs up against the wall. It's a tough place to be. Yeah. It's hard to think of anything in the middle of the ice. You just got to think one knows, game at a time. Knows but, anything about basketball. We all know how LeBron James came back winning the championship for Cleveland. And being James. down 3-1 to the Golden State Warriors, baby. And maybe that's what's going to happen to Valhalla here. But I think winning he had three to break some row, uh, ankles there. That's oh, also three do. games in a row, it's not going to be easy for Valhalla because that's what they got to do right now. That's, that's the cool. only way to secure place number three. And the first edition of the Iron Forge tournament. We have but a shout out on the chat here for the Abby's son, Crimson. He's on the Volt Squad Power Clan, and apparently he's single and a virgin. Now, we would bring him in here, but he literally can't talk, fellas. So we are not going to bring that in. But yes, he is a virgin and interested in anybody and anywhere. So we're going anybody? to. Anybody? Male, female, ladies, boys, all of you. Non, he is non binary. Oh I'm God. in. That's he's so bi, funny. non bi. We don't even know what he is. But he's <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's so all mean. Mean. That is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's 3 1. Valhalla needs to remember one game at a time. And if you win That's this cool. game, all of a sudden, SM's hands get a little sweaty on those controllers. I've been there, and it's a nerve wracking situation. Um, so SM's got to go for the jugular and not be conservative. The winner team can take Crimson <laughs> on top of the hundred fifty thousand gold. Yeah, beautiful matches tonight. Uh, really, really amazing gameplay. And you know, we're playing for third place at this point, but these are the powerhouses of the tournament. And you know, I, I really like how it's set up as we're going to be starting this next game. That the top teams are playing the top teams. That's the way it should be. Going into station here. And some of these teams put really hard teams behind them to get here. Let's not forget that either. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Are you, are you bragging about your own team or what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can see both teams and let's uh, focus a little bit on the games right now. Yeah. Um, look, look, look at that. Um, just up. Bumped up there. Dory. On the right side, and Grimlock, my Polish brother right there, Polska, here we go. <laughs> Sniping down everybody Yakshimash, the whole baby. team. Yakshimash. Yakshimash. I'm telling you, Grimlock is uh, just really on fire right now, together with the Russian brother, Nicholas. Ika also taking somebody down, and they have a fantastic start. As you said, it's 11 nothing, yeah. and it's one no game at a down. time. It's one right. game at a time, guys. Yes, sir. That's how I was like to tell my team. It's only one game. No matter you're behind 3-0, 3-1, you only get one game at a time. AJ's clearing it up over on the right, and he's got three of his buddies pushing on the left with we Doug. Yeah, JB. Smoke, and they're going to be, pre be preparing for a classic SM push here. Ooh, good grenade. Around. Crazy. Oh, that's 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 excellent Diana grenade. Over. It really looks like bring up the JBs because people have been holding back and not trusting themselves. But I like to see it, and it can really change the game because no one's ready for it yet. Mm -hmm. Guys, it really looks like Valhalla. Uh, you know, they got kind of mad after going down three-one and started like crazy, going up thirty-six right. to one. So that we might have a series back in here. But oh, yeah. you know, guys, it's not over till it's over because to win you gotta have to back so one good push from sm which we do not see at the moment uh, the score being 42 to 1 um well we'll see two more minutes let's see if valhalla can pull it off and we have a series here guys you are right they just dominated right off the bat didn't they and they've done a great oh, yeah. job taking a chapter out of 300's book of just harassing at the 50 or the 40 yard line and not letting them get set up and that's what you got to do 
be honest, I want to see them go to game seven. Both of these teams are really strong on CTD. Both of them have unique gameplay. Ooh, and good it's taste. Good game. Okay, there's SM trying to push now as a team. Rimmer has got to be careful right there. Pulling up the shield and is going to get him down. Good job, Rimlord, right here. Look, look at that, look at that movement right amazing. there. Amazing back. It was a textbook shield work, baby. I love seeing it. My well, he put the shield up and then he decided the time. He goes, I need to get out of here. He was in yep. his afterlife and that saved it for him. Love it. Is he well, using the on that? It's right here. So. Um, it looks like a snack for, in my opinion, right now. But look mm -hmm. here, SM coming in hard yep. and yep. Uh, being really aggressive. But I think Grimlock is having a, a snack, so he has the fast this aim was speed. The flank but HK look at HK that! Insane coming from the back, grabbing it, Dude, and get out he's gonna get out of there. Look, oh, roll. Nicholas Where's cutting him off. There it Great is. Shot, Look, but there are two more guys coming. The Polish Russian connection right here, oh, pretty good on the defensive oh, end. Shield. I see Big Smoke's coming up behind him with Takrima is coming up behind too. They're going to be able to bring in the reinforcements. Yeah, that shotgun against the shield is deadly. That's that's a, a, a huge weakness of the shield. Look at Bomb moving yeah. the back left too. When he was going down, he was being smart with the back. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. SM's got numbers here. They can take this. Yep, they need to go. They, they do smoke. have it, but look, those are the mines I was talking about. Even though he sees them, it was still a difference Dude, maker because he couldn't take the strategy. long road. What a great strategy. Look I at mean, that. that is just epic. I mean, that is textbook. It's Loy work right there. Oh, yeah. And whenever you have a Loy and you play your roto guns, as Ika does in here, and Grimlock also, it's not going to be easy to take down a Zloy with the double dash. And let's see, it's uh, overtime. It's do or go home at this point. And the question yes, is if SM can pull it off. If they can pull it off, if they win this one. But there you go, they still protected the back. Ooh, they going down, line. there's one guy left. Crazy, putting in Diana work. Oof! They got crazy they got doing a fantastic job. Four guys yep. down, but there's still a Zloy. He's got to grab the bag and run away, and he does it. That's a good wow. thing to do right there. They had four guys down. That was... I thought I mean, that's, that's it. Crazy. Come that's back. just a, a great job. That's just teamwork right there. That's an awesome job moving the bag. Oh, yeah, especially having a, a Zloy on the bag. Mm -hmm. And um, a little bit of a delay from Valhalla because, as Emi just said, there were four people down, and they just had to push. That's what they had to do. Just go all Back in. Back down. There Nika it is. grabs it. Can he get out? That's the question right there. He's oh, gonna knife no. him. Oh, there you go. He got the more guys. I mean, they're just counteracting. That's around any, a any... minute of back points. More yep. than minutes. They really need to hold, oh. settle for like two minutes of defense. That goes down with that Nicholas. Ooh, like wow. Okay, this there might be game is. right here. The question is, can he get out? Because one more guy, they're going to... No. Oh. Oh, he's one hit. He's one hit. There's the gas. Dead. The gas is really saving their ass here. Wow. The thumb. Oh my god. Valhalla did such this a great insane. job. Yeah. I'm trying, trying to settle down and get set up here. I love watching this. But now 40 back points, that's 4 points per 10 seconds. They need around 100 seconds to hold uh, without the kills. That's Damn, you math genius. Really set up. <laughs> yeah, I got lost in saying that. But <laughs> let's see if uh, Valhalla, by Valhalla, can they make another great push? Yeah, two guys down. They're gonna continue pushing. Three guys down from the SM guys. We need some more firepower. Nice some more Valhalla. RPG by Grimlock right there. Might be a gas kicker. But I mean, HA is doing a fantastic job. He's gonna oh, get nice and him crazy. Out. And he's there gone, he guys. He is gone. Oh my god. Again. Oh, wow. I mean, they just won't. They refuse to quit. Uh, uh, none of the teams are quitting here. here. No, this is, in, this is incredible. This is amazing. Guys, and this, this is not a map like... to see this because it's really big and they these guys keep coming. They just don't yeah, see 50, gold on the line here. I love <laughs> it. But look guys, this is the last push they have right here. If they can bring the back down and hold it for ten seconds while Hala is going into the next game. This is their last definitely their last push. 
and there is the smoke with the gas and look at that he's low they're gonna push him and they yep, might get down. the big hey guys, right guys. Valhalla got cavalry um, Scott, he's got smoke cover. Are you kidding me? And they are using Look the smoke. Oh no! Game Death set. Smoke. Oh there my we god. go. Oh, oh my god. god! Amazing work, Valhalla, taking that back. Emmy, to make your to you know bounce off your point, that gas really was throwing Valhalla off, and it's really tough to when you have shield work or you're dependent on adrenaline when everyone else has Chan Lee's and they're dropping gas. So Val good job, Valhalla. Bomb showing up today. Ika, Grimlock, Nikolas, everybody really showing up. Uh, Ika's top kills, 16 and 11 and 4. Grimlock, 15, 9 and 11. Bomb had the bag the most, 53 points, 7, 8 and 6. And uh, Crazy's down there really doing a great job of support, 9, 9 and 5. Uh, SM side, Big Smoke showing up for SM today. He had the bag for 30 points, 6, 12, and 5. AJM, 9, 11, 12. DeCrema, 11, 13, and 4. Dub, double, 10, 13, and wow. 3. And Insane, what 8, a 10, scoreboard. and 6. What a, what, what, what a scoreboard. I mean, it's really interesting. A lot of deaths on the SM side. A lot of deaths along the uh, everybody, but Ika and Grimlock really showed up with making some key kills. Nicholas really showing up and bomb again, making the key play and grabbing the bag and getting out of there. Dory, he's really showing up for his squad today. I mean, oh, you yeah, see yeah. high kills, high kills and high deaths and high assists on everyone's side here. You know, that bag went back and forth and that was a long match. I mean, that was, no, a, a, was. Not, I mean, crazy. Both there was teams one moment refused I to think... give up was a turning point for SM was when uh, Valhalla had to run a 60-point lead and Insane came from behind. Even the camera missed him with that land cannon, killed three guys and yep. put SM back in the game. Yeah. And guys, I really need to do it right now, and you're just guessing. Let, let, let me say one thing, and you're going to guess who just joined the chat on YouTube. Meow, meow. <laughs> meow. <laughs> meow. Meow, it's meow, my friend. Meow, in the meow. building, everybody. And it's wanting to kill the last. That's who 24 he is. 24 7 meow, baby. 24 7 meow. We all love you, bro. Happy to see you. And uh, as we go into game number six, and it's basically the same situation as before for Valhalla, they have to win it. And I think I can speak for all of us just saying, we want to see. A game seven game because seven. it's always exciting. Yeah, somebody mentioned it before. Here we go, Tlansk. This is the one with the tank, right, Bad? <laughs> uh, no, this is submarine, but yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Gray City tank. That's the identifier for this one. Uh, we'll see who. <laughs> We're going to make a quick bag run. Aval is going right in. Nicholas is there. Bomb is there. Can they survive with smoke? SM, good flank, excellent flank. Nicholas is going down, but he gets back to his, at least past the 40. Insane grabs it. I think he might get out of here. Yeah, great job with the flank on SM. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if the finals are anything like this, man, it's going to be palms are sweaty all game. This is crazy. Oh, and, and yes, I see all those comments. We are totally aware of what is going on with the stream. <laughs> because every time we do have the game on, we have a little screen, and every time the game is over, we have the big screen. But I'm sure we can handle that after this game. So, SM still with in. the back, going yep. up 20 to 5 almost. It's 19 to 5. And they're trying to settle up, but Nicholas with the Dutch AR on the side just doing big time damage. Yeah, Look at that. Oh, you know, good knife in the afterlife. Wow. Oh, no, it's really nice. Quick twitch muscles. I don't have those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what Valhalla is coming up here because, as we said before, this is a, a game that they have to win, you know? Not so only down one, we want to sound down, they're down three. Oh, they are. Just don't don't they're they're, no, they're, they're going to take it right there. That, that they're was they're an amazing. Right now. Yep. Oh, push that. they went towards the spawn. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Nicholas <laughs> was taking down moved. everybody. everybody. He doesn't everybody care dies. if they're blue, red, or purple. <laughs> so they ended up getting that, yeah, but I mean, can you explain what your comment was about when, when you're taking a bag like that, 
then direction you go is that important yeah because the, uh they were in the middle right so it was kind of a toss up where sm's gonna gonna spawn that was a tough one to decide where to go but the valhalla ended up going almost in the middle of where sm was spawning they took a little last second turn that saved them but that's what i was trying to see which side because when you're in the middle the team spawns on both sides right so that was a tough one and they got lucky with that and ideally what he's saying is that you want to go towards the area where the opposite the opponent is not going to spawn but they ended up with it nicholas did a great job and now they have it yeah we call that the book of fly what we call that run the other way <laughs> yeah well, we got one minute to go. If Valhalla can hold on to the bag, and as I said, I think they don't because Bump is going down. Is he or is he not? No, he's alive. He's still one alive, hit. Guys. Bump just doing a fantastic job. If it's a Sloy uh, operator or just the Moses shield, holding the bag, just amazing. Just really good buying time and not losing the bag easily. Oof. So no. if you don't have. If you don't have somebody that can move that bag and handle it, you're going to lose games. So basically, uh, the one and only person that could down, take down Bomb is, is crazy, his own teammate, which was definitely <laughs> not meant to be. But look at that, we got 30 seconds to go. If Valhalla can hold on to win this one, guys, we're going into a Game 7 on CBD ground. First LeBron Game James 7 territory. Right. I'm really surprised of not seeing Valhalla bring uh, up more Zeloys because they're a team that normally uses a lot of Zeloys and SM's having good success with the gases. But Valhalla's also missing a couple of guys like Ace normally either snipes or is Zeloy. He's not in right now. Yeah, that's a good call out. Ace is just done. That's something that you gotta have on camera. Oh, yeah. wow. Nice. Here Look we go. go. And as we said, it's one game at a time and that's what Valhalla did. And now it's the game, the series is even 3 3, and they're going into a game seven, which is a deciding game. Guys, I'm excited. What about you? Dory, I got to ask you, Dory, as, as the representative of Onyx, what are you telling your team after coming back 3 1 headed into a game seven? I got to know. Hmm, let me think about that. I think, first <laughs> of all, you know, make the screen bigger. That's like the first thing to do right there if I'm a stream. But um, guys, for real, before we keep talking, it's going to be a game seven uh, in the final four that we have. It's the, the, the small final we are playing right now. Two amazing teams with SM and Valhalla. Both deserve to be here, and they're both putting up a show right now for us before we go to the big final. Let's try to make this one on the big screen. I'm talking to Talon and the whole staff right here because it's just so much more enjoyable for the people to watch. That would be really amazing. If we have to go on mute, let's do this. But uh, let's take our time. Maybe we have to do something about it with the, on the technical side. I think we actually just covered it, and we should be okay. Boom. Oh, well, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's start well, with the answers. Yeah. yeah what we, am got I our brother, my... we got our brother Talon here on the tech side. Thank you so much for streaming and allowing for all of us to uh, check out all the talent and showcase 100%. 100%. Best squads in the U.S., bad squads in the world right now. Hey, Bad Star, you know SM probably better than anyone. You and Emmy, what are they going to do here on this TTD round? <laughs> Take it well, away, Emmy. Uh, yeah, I they had a they had a similar game last week, uh, which makes me real sad. But they really dominated us on CTD ground. They really organized. I think CTD ground is a game you want to go to the basics. They set up nice, and once they're set up, it's really tough to take them. They love that platform. They like to mine up. It's hard to end around them. They gas up the platform. I'm calling it. They're going to get on the platform, gas it up, and then nothing can get in there. And uh, they're also the grass side is going to be mined up. And that, that's kind of the game I see them playing. But Valhalla has a little bit more uh, heavy guns. So I think it's going to be up to Valhalla to bring the Rotos, MGLs, and uh, maybe a bit of SMS to kind of push them off that platform and maybe muscle their way in. Uh, because SM is a squad, you want to break up that defense. Uh, they are one of the teams that defense, they're really strong. So I think Valhalla is going to be on the aggressive side, and SM is just going to hold strong and nice, I think. And that's what it comes down to, which team takes the game, I think, here. Well, 
it's that, that's hard just to perfectly call it. said. As we can start the game right now, guys, it's a game that is deciding whoever is gonna be on the third place ending this tournament and the fourth. So here we go, guys. City to ground, game seven. A lot of pride on the match here. And those stairs that were insane is really important for us, Sam. They really had that last week. Oh, there you go. I mean, this this used to be Aries. You know that pretty well. This used to be uh, um, at some point an MGL map. Oh man, now it's I'll an SMS what. map. So hey, map you know. screen again here. Let's get that bigger if we can. But yeah, Nicholas MGL is bringing sure. back that MGL. He just has uh, he has oh, that whipped out. We'll see. There it is. I see the circle. Okay. Valhalla is taking the top, which is kind of key, as Emmy said, and uh, really trying to take care of that here. Grimlock is SMSing and probably being somewhere on the top. I saw him taking down already somebody. There he is with the SMS shield. He was just doing a great job on the previous matches. Oh, almost got down by a grenade, but here you go. You have the top. It's a 10 3 lead for Valhalla. Let's see how SM is going to respond to that one. Yeah, SM really needs to get creative. Some this, Sharon, something. This is a tough position to be in when somebody has that platform established, as Emmy is saying before. And you could see SM kind of figuring out. I mean, they made actually a slight push on the left on the grass side, and that didn't work because they ran into some mines and taken out. So now they're going front door. But they, yeah, they need to get creative and be able to take that platform out. or they, Otherwise, it's just kind of picking out. Just uh, pick them off there as you're sitting on top of that platform. It's a nice yeah. place to be. It's a comfortable place. And I, oh, already, I also have to mention that Nicholas just did an amazing job. And, you know, they, of course, everybody is going to try to take the top here because you have the high ground and the, the advantage. And Nicholas did not allow. He's going down now, but he pushed them off so Grimlock could be from the bag and others to shoot them. Great job by Nicholas here. And if I you love saw. The back and forest. If you saw Ika, he put mines all the way down the grass yep. side and came all the way around and flanked. And I mean, that was a huge flank right there. Through Textbook. their spawn, actually, Aries, you caught yes, that. Yes, Ika was laying mines and came up behind them, laying lamors, being patient, not pushing up and go for a yeah, kill, but just setting up their defense. That was excellent. That's well, a guys, cool move right there. This is a huge lead at the moment 29 to 10. Valhalla did an amazing job. Look how many missile defenses are there. Oh I don't gosh. know if he finds time to take them down because Grimlock already there with the shield. Mm -hmm. That's Grimlock with the shield, correct. About 20 seconds until it goes to a point that you can't come back from for a Sam. Yep. One game at a time. He's putting pressure on him. We talked about it. Sure. They're doing a great he came job. Back. Three, one to a four, three. See, that's a pro move. He's in his afterlife and he lays a mine down like that. I mean, that's a great job right there. Oh, great. Crazy's there doing is, a good though. job of just backing up. He's got the Diana rolling, and it's just now that SM is pulling it out, so. Um, but look at SM. Yes, me. No matter they're ahead or behind, they're S5. No matter what, they're really organized. They really oh, stay yeah. focused. They're not winning the hey. game, but they're still going to their fundamentals. Oh, yeah. They had a game plan, you can really tell. And they are just, yeah. you know, playing the whole game just like they probably said we they will. And Aris, you asked me before the game, what do you tell your Onyx uh, squad members uh, before game? I don't think that question should be into my direction. I think we should just ask Ika after they are done because they did a fantastic job. And not only winning this game, probably being up 40 to 23, 15 seconds to go, but also coming back from a 3-1 deficit to win the series, guys. Oh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's huge. I mean, that's that's LeBron James right there. You called it. Oh, oh, <laughs> I mean, I love LeBron. I'm not going to compare him to Ika, but I mean, Ika is the <laughs> Tonight, he gets the LeBron James of I meant the team effort, the team effort. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, you want to know a fun guys. fact? Aries was born in the same hospital as LeBron James. Take it to the bank, bitches. That's a true oh. story. And Stephen Akron, Curry in this case. Akron, yeah, that, Steph Curry, too. Akron City Hospital. Then what right. happened? Uh, I went wrong growing. after that. I'm white <laughs> and I stopped growing, so I stuck to baseball. I got in my lane. <laughs> Oh, that was just an amazing series, guys. I mean, bad. Hugo, do you want to say something about it? Because that was just really amazing to watch. We had a game seven coming back. What do you think? 
I'm loving it. Game seven. I mean, first game seven of the night and just a, a, a massive battle between two heavyweights in the community. SM really came and showed up. Congrats to Valhalla. Uh, really kind of, I mean, make a statement coming in as an EU team and showing up and getting to, uh, you know, third place in this, this entire tournament on a foreign server. That's a really tough thing to do. I I have a lot of respect for Valhalla. Oh yeah. I can't add anything. Definitely true. Lots of respect. Definitely. Okay, guys, I think, um, before we go into the next series, which is going to be the final one of the night, I hear some people coming in. Yo, yo. Oh, I think that might be Ika. Yo, what up? <laughs> How do you <laughs> feel about coming back just like LeBron James from a 3-1 deficit? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Moses, Good job. Moses double minds, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all saw that. Oh, shit. Yeah, Amazing even job. himself almost outscored the whole SM team by three points lower. He did 18, yeah. and their whole team did uh, 21. <laughs> that was yeah, a good yeah. Game for you guys. Yeah, it was. It was. A, uh, it was a good games, but uh, yeah, we we still had the bad dirty team, but. I think we, we did a good job after after uh, fourth game, I think. So Yeah, yeah we got to ask, though, um, what are you telling your team when you're down 3-1? I mean, that was what we were discussing the whole time. Like, what in the world do you tell your guys? I told them I'm going to kick you all. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty really simple right here. Oh, I love this guy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. so that's how, that's how you motivate your teammates. Well, it worked, so nobody's going to question it. Good job coming back from 3-1, and yeah, um, team somehow team you got this. Good job. Really nice to see. I'm really proud yeah. of you guys. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Now, now I'm going to enjoy final. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, how, how, how do you see maybe a, a few more words before we, we try to fix the screen, which is... Uh, Totally our priority right now. Um, how do you see the finals? You played against um, War US. How do you see how strong are they? How difficult is it to play against them? And how do you see them go against the 300 guys? If, if, they, if they manage to, uh, to take care of Prodigy SMS, I think War US will win. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So that's, a huge, that's a huge key. I mean, and he used yeah. to be a member of War, so who knows him better than War? Yeah, yep. exactly. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Excellent yeah, job, Bahala. Thank yep. you. All right, guys. So, Star, are we taking a quick break here? What, what's, what's the plan here? Yep, let's take a two-minute break here, and we'll get ready for the finals. Can't wait. All right. Wait. Sounds good.
minutes. Well, welcome back, guys. The Crucible. We're hopefully fix, fix the technical issues. We're gonna work with this here. We're going for the finals, though. Rain or shine, it's happening. We're starting off with these current maps here going forward starting off with area it is 300 og versus war us Holy massive heavyweights shit. going at it for the finals we got eight hundred thousand gold being given away the top is five hundred a half a million gold to the winner today and i can see some interesting lineup on both teams yeah, uh, we've got War Squad with 11, Griezmann, Trip, Youth, and Asian. I see that Drugs Bunny's not starting for them. And then 300 OGs, Hunter, Ooh, Laz, Prodigy, move. SK, and Hole Riker. No both drugs, teams are huh? better than ever, but both teams have it. War Squad has got Youth, 300 has Prodigy. These full, Both teams are at full capacity. This is the big final. Everyone's been waiting for this. We're ready. There's a lot of passion is, between man. these two teams and these players. It's going to be exciting. I see SK is fighting for 300. Is that correct? Who did he say about? Trash Panda is not there. Yeah. yeah Trash Panda not there. Teams are queuing, guys. Teams are queuing. I All right, have, let's go. I have a lot of stars in the house. I have, a lot of, I have a lot of money on war. So I want war to win. That's for sure. Let's go I war. Think- all right, we'll see where Hugo's at. I'm not sure who to bet on at this point, but I'm just looking forward for, to a good match here. You're right, SK's joining up. He is an excellent player. Uh, Emmy and I both know this. Uh, I think pretty much everybody in the game knows this, that SK is not to be messed with. Uh, Drugs is sitting, looks like, this time. I'm not sure if that's a, uh, a schedule thing or uh, an, a strategic thing, but Tajian, a.k.a. Asian, is an excellent player. Emmy and I have both played with him intimately for a long time and he is not to be messed with uh, a great addition to the war squad as we're starting up let's go finals game one area war u.s versus 300 og see what happens prod's favorite map let's see 300 with the with the side that i do consider as the the side that is not the better one so it's a disadvantage having that side but let's see if they can still handle that side because they don't have much places or places to hide from the SMS shooting but SMG, SMS right here on the right side, Prodigy Laz fighting for the back Prodigy doing his thing but also Laz is getting down by an SMS player You see SK getting the nod this round that's a that's a big pickup especially for the Roto work well, you did a good job being in position and grabbing the bag, getting back, avoiding all kinds of fights right here. So, good start by War. Absolutely. That screen is looking sexy right now, guys. I love Prodigy it. Prodigy is still there in their spot. He's chosen he a hasn't really moved interesting since spot. the beginning of the game, has he? He hasn't He's died so... yet. No, he chose a really interesting spot. He normally doesn't go for there, so no one even knows he's there. And he's just taking him apart, buying oh, time for his team, but oh, he missed him. For him. Oh, there he goes. Oh, and it, oh, oh, pumps the brakes, pumps the brakes. Oh, and he gets him. Wow. wow. Amazing game by Prodigy. They still have the bag, though. He's got the bag. Well, Prodigy doing a fantastic job settling up. Um, you actually want to take your top, but they cannot go over there because there's Prodigy. So you because have to be of in the corner. Prodigy. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But yeah. over here, he's capable of shutting down. Oh, that's going to be a good push by. <laughs> Did it again. Reruns. Reruns all there. day. Here he comes. There it is again. How yeah. needs to go? Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got three on. Ooh, pushing in with. And he's the... down. Laz got it. Oh, guys. Uh, Laz and Ooh doing a fantastic yeah. job with the land out. Yes, they are. Can he get oh, out, though? That's the question. Yeah. SK kind of stuck over there, I saw. A lot of land. <laughs> oh, SK was definitely needed putting down the C4. And now Griezmann has the bag with the Moses shield, which we know mm. he's pretty damn good with. So let's see. Oh, nice land again. Pushing Great in the middle. That's time to Lazilla. Right Double kill with Laz. You are doing a fantastic job. And there you go, Laz. Good job. Oh. Good job for- Cleans them up and then Lamar. Lamar saves the day. The bone killer right there. Mm. 
well, but you can tell, like, um, the war is in trouble right here. Like, we yeah, are they keep can't. coming. Like, there's no time they to can't. breathe. Oh, here no. it is. Oh, he's going to bring it as far as he can. He didn't have a needle. Somebody's got to take got it, it around. Yeah, look at this. SK got it, it and he's running. Yeah, with the 21 with, with pages. With the caravan. And that's the that's the JB with the shotgun and SMG. I didn't see that. Let me see it again. It was the rotogun. Ooh, good land out, fool. It was a doing? rotogun and a shotgun. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, exactly. Cool Riker's land out, second to none. So unfortunately, we do have an issue with the screen, but that doesn't matter now. Um, no. 300 does have a minus 10 point uh, deficit at the moment. Um, and they need to hold on to the back for the next 15 seconds to kind of go into overtime. And they're doing a pretty good damn job right now. But Griezmann up Probably with the Moses shield. Back. Oh, good job right there. Wow, came the loopy loop. Oh shit! Overtime. Overtime. Not a lot it's of It's on time countdown right time. now. It's on countdown. It's probably on three, two, one. Shit! How oh, they got it? Oh, no. oh wow! Oh, oh he's uh, doing a oh, circle he's right there. Out. If he can get out, this is definitely For the a man. Oh, oh, oh my god! He's oh. talking trash at the end with the cash. Oh, he does. But you guys, he he did not only do a three three hundred sixty circle. He, that was definitely more than that. Look at that. I I gotta see that on YouTube. Let me check it right here. Yeah, Dude. I'm watching it too. Yeah, YouTube hasn't ended yet. <laughs> wow, Asian. Oh my god! Wow. wow, he really proved it. He subbed in for Drags Bunny, and he had the winning four. Yep. He really it's here. <laughs> wow, what a game. What a game. What? I mean, Bro. that's a 300 favorite map right there. That's a, if you're 300 and you're sitting in there and you're like, damn, we just played our match and we still lost. You got to be, yeah, Aries, you got to be ready for these maps. Aries, what, what, what's Laz saying to him right now? I think Laz is telling him, hey guys, it's just one game. It's just one game. We know Depot's next and that's another home map for them. I'm, I remember when we were playing in the, I think it was the hard tournament. I'm not sure which one. It was it was us against um I forget who it was, but we ran depot every day for like two weeks straight. And so I'd like to see them come back. I mean, it was like Prodigy was just cracking the whip on us, man. It was crazy. Yeah. That's it was against Nicholas's kills old squad. For hey, three hundred. Hey. That shows how they were pinning him down. Yep. Youth I'm, is on top, I'm eight, six, and four. Griezmann's six, six, and one. Tasian, Asian, 7, 11, and 1, 11 is 9, 8, and 3, trip 2, 9, and 5. SK on top over there with 300 OG, 4, 8, and 2. He had that bag points for 20. Laz, 9, 8, and 3. Prodigy kicking it off, 11, 3, 0. Hool, 8, 9, and 3. And Hunter, 6, 5, and 6. Pretty evenly matched, really exciting game. We'll see what happens in game number two. Well, we started the finals with a uh, with a big boom, as Mr. MVP in the building telling it. It was a big boom, and we can expect much more booms right here, guys. That's just amazing, amazing first game final. Let's see what's gonna happen next. Uh, what map do we play now? We got we got Depot coming up, baby. Oh, yeah. Depot. Depot. We got we got requests for D Dub to enter the booth here. I'm not sure. We... Doing doing permissions right now as we speak. Sounds uh, good. He should he should be up here pretty soon. Hey uh, the soon money's as... at 300 for Depot. 300 is really strong on Depot. Absolutely. They got SK, which is one of the best players on Depot, and Prodigy and SK just they will just. Their money is on the flank. No matter they have the bag and they don't. And you got to find a solution for both of them now. That's just, I really want to see what War is going to do to overcome that. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. Yeah. Do you think, I mean, is this the time, Dory? Is this the time to go back to the fundamentals and do what your normal, your normal go to is? Or is this the time to throw a wrench in it and see if you can well, throw it off because these teams know each other? I'm for, well, whenever, I'm for plan B. When Whenever you are in, in a finals matchup, um, and I experienced that in one of the earlier tournaments, you should not go with something that you're not really comfortable with. Do whatever you can, do good, what you play a lot, what you do um, the best and be most effective. 
for the team. So go mm-hmm. back to the basics. Back to uh, basics. I, I, I think both teams have a game plan, which you definitely need when you're going against such great teams in the finals. So, yeah, do your thing. Do your thing. And then try to even the series right now. That's probably what Lass is telling his team at the moment. For me, it's the opposite, to be honest. Yeah, go ahead, Emmy. Yeah, I want to hear. For me, it's these teams. That that's what I would normally do, and I would get three or four guys to stick to that. But these games are coming to that fifth player, that specialty player. What trick they have up their sleeves because these these teams know each other way too well to go. They go to their basic. It's just gonna come down to muscling your way in which can be an option, but we see some games that one specialty person, one interesting thing can just change the game on the clock. We're going to see that a lot. Go Games going 59-59, 60-60 mm-hmm. scores, and it's like, what do you do on the beater? That mm-hmm. That's what I was kind of thinking is that's what I was kind of thinking as well. And I think Dory brings up a good point. In any given moment, that's what you're typically going to, typically going to do. You know, you want to get back to your basics. You want to you know, bring them in and, and have your fundamental uh, strongest gameplay. But I do, considering the two teams that we have here, they're, they're the heaviest hitters in the U.S., uh, top squads, and, and top in the world to really competing – Throwing that wrench in there might throw off that team that they're used to playing. War Squad is used to playing 300, and 300 is used to playing War. It's going to be interesting to see what they do. Hey, let's introduce the one, the only. (laughs) Dina, one of the highest levels in the game, uh, one of the calmest voices and one of the most generous teachers in the game, D-Dub. Thanks for joining us in the booth, man. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody? Good. I think a lot of us have uh, have you to thank for for helping teach, and I think uh, your knowledge in the game and and of these squads, you're an OG player, and we'd love to hear what you think about this this match going in here. Game two, uh, obviously, War Squad took the first one, um, but we're going into game two. What are you thinking about these two squads matching up? Um, and just first, uh, these guys are much better than me, but <laughs> <laughs> just to just get that out there. But, uh, the I think it's about the adjustments. Like I, I I just drove home, so I didn't see the other games. But obviously, War was using a lot of the shield and Diana when they were attacking. So I'm wondering if 300 is going to do like a lot of Zloy and gas, you know, to kind of defend that kind of push that they made. The counterattacks, yeah, yeah. So. I think it's going to be the adjustments is going to be the key because they, I'm sure they watched the first game and took a lot of notes. So I can tell so you as a 300 member, it's difficult to sit here and not want to dust <laughs> off the Moses MGL. This is painful, guys. It's so painful. Right. Or use MGL. I'm sure if they lose, I'm, I'm sure Podge is going to let you know. So here we go. You game two. <laughs> You're starting up. All right, guys. Depot, game two. And my mind's at 300. Laz is going to get that back on Depot. He always does. Laz is going in. Oh, there he is. Like more than one band, though. Well, That's cool. Oh, what the bag? Wow. Cool's got it. That's and they lose. Factors, but he is going down. What? <laughs> That's one of the weirdest things ever. Over. 300 yeah, gets the game. 1 0. I mean, we talked about that wrench, and youth took that truck, and he might be able to pull off with this, but it looks like uh, he's out number two. Guys, we have to, uh, because I think they keep playing, we have to get out and get back into the game. I think they're still in game. Yep. Okay. It has to be done. Yeah, I think there, there's a couple guys on War Squad uh, and 300. Are on they War, still it's playing? Loaded yeah, back. Yeah, so. probably. Check this. Somebody check the court. I don't have the Yeah, we have to reset definitely the game. Yeah, we got to reset. Just just reset. We'll be fine. So if we could see the start of the game, Hool, as I mentioned before, one of the best bag grabbers in the game with his uh, adrenaline Lando loadout on the Moses from what I... What I know, I didn't see it in the game, but he grabbed the bag, went back to their base as soon as possible. So yeah. that's at, what we also saw, guys, and we and, don't know what is and happening at the moment. Dory, at this moment, I got eyes on it. So Griezmann has his shield. He's got the – War has the bag. They're on that left side of their spawn here by that little corridor with about a lot of objects. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're doing a good job of protect, uh, protecting here. Griezmann's got that classic shield, doing a great job all night with that. Hasn't really seen much action. Ooh, Prodigy coming up behind him. Takes him out, but he's still in his afterlife. Tajian 
ends up Tajan and Trip end up taking the bag back. Prodigy made a run for it with his Sharon, but Tajan and I'm Trip no end up securing the bag here. So we're Trip has the bag now, and Griezmann's up front along with Youth on that left side. SK is trying to push in, laying a couple of Lamors, maybe trying to do a C4. Laz is coming in. All right, now we're back up. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, both teams have really a couple guys that are really key. The, the both teams have some fundamental guys, but they're guys like you, uh, Prodigy, and uh, SK and Trip that could like really change the game within a within a second with their Sharon, with their flanks, and it's those are gonna be the guys that get creative. And then you have the fundamental guys like Lad, like Drugs Bunny, that are just always solid and consistent. It's it's really gonna come down to how you get the whole system to work together. D-Dub, you, you've been against both of these teams you know, on this map. What, 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 what are you looking at? What are you looking at to defend on, uh, let's say, uh, you know, 300 has the bag, your war? What are you looking at? So typically, they'll always have somebody in the middle to kind of just flank, disrupt, because everybody mm -hmm. goes down the left and right side. So, you know, cooking and all Ooh, that. Just, yeah. You could put laymores around or Bag's the gone. little two flank you in the middle. So they'll always well, have well, well, we, Grab the bag. Well, yeah. While yeah, we are chatting, uh, 300 did a pretty damn good job in uh, getting the bag to their base, but they're under pressure right here. Um, it looks like 300 is doing a, a good job in prote uh, protecting the bag right now, but the war in 11 is getting the bag at this moment, guys. Ooh, but the there's train. Thomas, who might be helping in that situation. 11 still got it, and he's going back to the spawn here. He's got a friend in Griezmann. <laughs> oh, Greasy, man. Well, we got five seconds to go. Three seconds, two, one. And it's game. Ooh, well, 300 did a, did a really good job in grabbing the bag while we were chatting, but unfortunately couldn't set up their defense, and the war just came in and, and grabbed the bag. So, unfortunately, 300 and that one is going down three, uh, 2 to nothing, right? Yes, 2 yes, nothing. 2 nothing. We're going to plane. So one Griezmann game at a time. Griezmann's over there on top, holding the bag down. Trip also had the bag a couple of times. Griezmann's three, five, and three. Trip six, five, and one. Eleven, eight, five, and two. And youth really had a great game. Thirteen, three, and three. Tajian showing up, representing War. New, new recruit. Five, two, five, no, nine, two. No drugs, That's, bunny again. No drugs, bunny. Tajian maybe took it out on a schedule issue or whatnot, but he's really showing up for it. Uh, yep. SK was on top over there with the bag. Uh, a, a recruit for. For 300 and, and showing up. SK was the person who had the bag, and they ended up just kind of not being able to set up. I think Dory was the issue as we were kind of chatting, but uh, and War was just able to capitalize on just dismantling yeah. that from the middle. And they what weren't able to really get to high ground, it looked like. What I well, noticed is like, have... you know, yeah. Oh, no, what I noticed is like, you know, if you get the bag grab, and then I, I don't know if y'all maybe I can comment, but. The respawn, you know, like if you don't have the bag, you respawn immediately, and then sometimes they beat you to the other side, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're exactly right. It looks like 300 is making some subs, which was the next point I was going to bring up. This is the moment of subs. Can Some fresh blood can really change the game. You lose two games in a row. You guys are in a losing mentality. A guy that comes here, wants to win, can really change the game. Yep. Well, as we have Aries in here, um, Aries, I mean, your team is down 2 nothing, And I'm pretty sure Laz and the team and Prodigy are going to do some adjustments now. So tell me, what do you think is important for your team to get back into the series? Well, I can hear Prodigy and Laz both right now in my ears. Um, and most people think Prodigy is just some young kid that flies off the handle. But he really, after matches... He's calm and steady, and he's already putting a plan in place for the next match. And I guarantee they're not they're not spending any time thinking about these L's other than switching out and putting right. in a plan for the next game. That's healthy. Well, it's it's kind of hard to tell what what exactly is missing at this moment and what 300 needs to adjust because we didn't see half of the last game. Um, I think, but there's something that we have to change, Aries. Don't you think defense. so? As Mag defense, they've got to put more laymores down. They're getting a little uh, lazy with that, I think. Um, and 
I think they need to spread out a little bit more. I think they've been huddled up a little bit. Now, we didn't see that last game, but, you know, it se- almost seemed like when they got the bag, they were in panic mode instead of let's get someone out in the middle, let's flank them, let's right. be patient with our pushes, you know, yeah, on defense. So let's remind the uh, viewers what our next map is. Plane is the next map coming up. Early. Yeah, that's going to be wind. a really interesting game play. <laughs> So it's <laughs> plain and the question to the no question to bad to bad or Hugo right here. Do you guys see any kind of substitutions for both teams? Because I do. I think uh, they're gonna use a lot of uh Landau cannon on this one. There's so much debris. It's gonna yeah. be crazy. Yeah, this is a great landau map, D dub. That's a good point. Well, I was actually talking about Spartan, who I see is um in the lineup right now. I think he was Whoa. not playing before. Sparty no, joins. Sparty is a, is back. Sparty is a, can back. be a game. Sparty can be a, a game changer. Honestly, yeah, I don't care how long he's been out of the game. He he's a, a player. Go. And we'll see where we're going. I I wouldn't be surprised if they hammer down Sparty on a Diana right now. <clears throat> yeah, because the Hunter's that. out. Sparty should be the Diana now. Um, but I see him starting with a Roto. Oh yeah, you can see the Diana in the air already. Mm, that is really annoying with that Moses shotgun on, on plane. It's interesting how he makes it work on such a big map. Yeah. If, you, if, you let, here. if they let Chip get off on that on that uh, prototype, it's going to be very, very tough. Well, that's uh, that's that's probably the most important game for a 300 in this series. You don't want to go down three nothing, so you have to you need to get a W in here to yeah, make this series. To be competitive and they bring it again Ooh. 300 got the bag but war's got hella numbers in the middle there and it looks like they just were able to take it away oh he was just doing a great job at Tejan as he did in the first game and he was actually one shot in here and he still managed to escape so this guy knows what he's doing with the Charon Sharon as the French say. Sharon, my bad, Sharon. <laughs> I mean, in well, Russia me. they say Haron, Haron. Sometimes he acts like a Karen, though. Sometimes he acts like a Karen, for sure. Wrecker calls him, uh, I need help, I need help. Uh-huh. <laughs> like a Karen. Well, this is going to be... I'm pretty sure this is a little stressy for 300 right now, because uh, War is doing a great job, but two of them are down. Two big players. Bam and Griezmann and Prodigy shooting from the left comes side. The, comes the van, here comes the truck. I think that's Hulriker on Diana right now. It is Hulriker. Definitely, it definitely is. And that's wow. a great push right there. And with oh. three. Oh. There he is, Prodigy. Come on. Sorry, I gotta go with rooting for my team. I'm out. This is smart. Smart Sharon play by Prodigy. You know, very airy with the homer call. It could be really tempting <laughs> to just go after it, and he's being patient because he knows he's outnumbered. Oh, definitely. And I think uh, War is doing a pretty good job over here. They are also using the the Sloy gas, but they are being on the left side because they do know that on the right plane side there could be an SMS player with Prodigy. Mm. So they are having actually a pretty damn good position over there in the corner. He's going to and Griezmann got 11, so they're, they're down a little bit. Grease as I mentioned Prodigy before, Prodigy. Or, uh, being a fantastic grab holder with the Moses Shield, but now he has a Zloy, which we all know is also pretty damn good to hold a bag. So that's kind of tricky now, and we have one minute to go, 64 to 20 for war. Just being really dominant in that one so we need mm. something to happen to make 300 even have a chance not going down three to zero yeah we see prodigy on the road oh he's given up on the on the sms let's see if that uh, change of game plan up and out uh they might mm -hmm. even get to the end okay, okay. Down. two down there we go Four that's down. the moment that's the moment yeah. right here. They're doing a great push, but Griezmann knows what you do. He's sniper. gonna try to get country out of the side. Alright. Asian really stepping it up to that shot. Yes, he is. I don't know if you guys saw that, but they stepped on the, the indicator to send the wind right when they were pushing it. Just sent him right out of there. Oh, yeah. yeah that, that was, that was pretty clever. Youth up there just tagging people left and right, man. 
at the missile defense and aim our setup is just uh, taking us over to right? And guys, this looks like a uh, game right here. Maybe this uh, Lando cannon can do something, but unfortunately it doesn't. Griezmann and throws Warriors. it off. The final dance taunt. War is really dominating here, Dory. What are we thinking? Well, I Three think Griezmann is uh, definitely MVP in that one, holding that's... the bag. Um, you know, making the decision to go to, to, to his lawyer, and they were fighting a little bit in the smoke. And when they had this good push, he managed to activate, as you said, the turbine, and also keep jumping and not dying. So good yeah. jump to Greasy and War just being overall really dominant in that one. So it's 3 nothing. You know, I, wonder... I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I was, that was basically what I wanted to say. How do you see things? You know, I was, I was just thinking, I wonder if 300 was missing a little bit of firepower because they had Hul and Diana and then Prodigy Ooh. with the classic SMS, but that's only three people on the field to be able to push that little group. Mm, and yeah. War has really shown all day today that they are fortified in their little grouping. And it's really hard to punch a hole through that, and especially when you're only got, you know, three potential firepower. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You know, you got Diana, so there's only four on the field. And then Prod's picking people off, but, you know, he can't be able to push in and, and have a, a, a strong, um, uh, the strength there to bring some weight into that little corner. So, um, you know, they made a couple of attempts and then were able to do it. But I wonder if that was part of Prodigy's thinking and bringing out that Roto. Aries, dusting off the MGL, firepower. <laughs> Put on your helmet, buddy. Get in there. <laughs> War's really oh. showing their strength, though, today. I mean, they're just dominating. And uh, 300 has taken their first losses in the entire tournament to War. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I can see 300 deep, coming deep back. Uh, I think 300 going to come back. He's going to give us a show. I, 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 I hope so, too. We got some cowboys. They got some. They got some strong competitors. So I really hope they do. I'll do twenty dollars yeah, next. We got Sky. We go to game seven, but I get five to one odds. I think Hugo is just getting close to his five hundred dollars. That's why he's not saying anything. Damn! I got the one gentleman's away, bet. Is, uh, is, yeah, is but you Hugo, didn't call a sweep, so it doesn't bet? count. <laughs> Hugo, is that the bet? Yeah, it's the bet. He has my Venmo already. So. I'll take it. I'll take that. Five to You'll one. Take on five, five, five to one. <laughs> Wait. No, no I, bet, I put I twenty on down war. on game seven. I bet, as a, as... I bet on on war before the semis even put, started with Aries for five hundred dollars. Okay. Five hundo. Five hundo. That's how that's how we roll, boys and girls. Five hundo bills. Mm. Yeah, mm. It's a, a nickel. If you're calling it in. Yeah, <laughs> and they each owe me ten percent as the bed commissioner. Yeah, okay. Hey guys, it's D Dub. Hey. What up, D Dub? What up, here, D Dub? Shout out, Mr. MVP. Red 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 on the same. for sweeping in the finals. I think you might be right on that. I mean, they are all just beasts individually and as a team. Yeah. Hey, Dory. Um, how, if you were three hundred right now and you're down three zero, you know what do you do? Well, being down three zero is even worse than being down three one, as we saw Valhalla was and still managed to come back. But it's still the same kind of uh, mindset that you have one game at a time. I mean, because it yeah. can turn around. Um, you can be down in a match uh, 90 to 10 and still grab the back and get it. So it's the same with the series. If they can pull off one game right now, um, you know, they might get up and, and, and pull off another one. But they really do have to change something because uh, at this point, um, they maybe need a little bit of more firepower. That's what um, Prodigy did right there. It switched from the SMS to to the Roto. Maybe he should start a Roto. Maybe they should play a little bit more Landau's. Um, something has to change, and hopefully we can see yep. something so that this series they gonna they they can get back into a series because at this moment, uh, if three hundred loses another game, it's basically. Um, it's GG's and it's game over, which we do not want to see just because it would be more entertaining to see a few more games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, I would, what, I would, what I would tell everybody, like, let's just play loose, you know, let's change it up, let's, let's go for broke, let's pull out all the stops. Fuck it. 
Everybody, yeah. Yeah. Just, just go, just go nuts. Go fucking hell yeah. Nuts. Well, well, you knowing, know, r- knowing last. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you. I just wanted to add one more thing, which I just had in my mind. Being last and just being a a good leader, talking to people, which you do not see very often. I think that's what he's doing to his team at the moment. So sorry for interrupting you. Uh, One game at a time. I'm going to play Lewis. Everybody load C4. Everybody get a truck. Everybody run it in there. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no truck in the sky. <laughs> get on the chopper. Get on the chopper. And, and 300 gets the bag back. Into the chopper. Yeah, this is unexpected. He's actually grabbed it from him. He's now back in the base. Youth oh, is this one looks of the like... smart bag grabbers out there. It's so tough to beat him on bag grabs. He doesn't come quick. He doesn't come late. He comes at the perfect time. Yeah, it's the opportunity. I mean, I've sort of uh, made really try to become a bag person from the beginning and I completely agree with him I mean, that youth is a very difficult opponent on that. He just picks his opportunities. He's so such a smart player, whether it's defending, attacking, grabbing the bag, trying to push, doing whatever. He's a, he's a true game. What most people do, they have like kind of two pushes, the slow push on the bag and, the, and one that goes right at it. And hopefully one or two gets there. Right. Yeah. And youth is right at the Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. And then each uh, star, uh, basically 300, is going really hard for the for the bag. And every mm-hmm. time War just finds the real timing to to snap the bag. They do a pretty good damn job with it. Yeah, they just not pushing. The they Look at Grease. I don't know, guys. I think Gre- Griezmann might be in the running for MVP of this uh, of this uh, of this game. Yeah, potentially, and you know what, uh, I saw uh, youth, even just that little, maybe 10 feet, 10 yards movement that youth did, not freaking out when he got pushed over, that allowed for the taze, that allowed for time, that allowed for Griezmann to roll in and grab the bag. So, so, what do you think? so what do you think, you got, you got, uh, what do you think here, I mean, to get this bag back here, it's a tough, tough map to get it back, what, 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 do, you, what do you do? That's a bit, that's yeah, yeah. Bit. There's two styles. Some people will touch it one side, and mine up one side, and we can split, right? Um, but, well, Prodigy being Yeah, really they, they, they did a pretty set up, but mm. I think they need to go back, just muscle the way and get together. I still see 300 relying on their specialty, uh, yeah, which mm. they have a system of five guys far from each other, but mm-hmm. working individually, but right now they need to mm-hmm. give the team three, four mm-hmm. guys. Yes, Maybe yes. even their Diana on the floor. It's just that uh, 300 has had a drone Diana the whole time. Maybe Diana that goes. Uh, oh, five on the Tajan floor. putting in work there. Really helped him out. Tajan did a, a wild oh, star the in that area. Just being really, really effective with the Charon. Winning this first game, he's doing an amazing job in fighting in the middle and not really getting 300 get into this game. They have one yeah. minute get the bag or it is GG's for 300 unfortunately um, which I'm saying over and over again I know but I'm just uh, really want to see a few more games guys how about you guys? Yeah, me too, me too. No, Absolutely. Sparty is off to Anna now, now. he's bringing in his Moses it looks like uh, they're trying to do whatever they can to be able to get that get in there. Yeah but they got the bag down Oof. and they got the bag Prodigy's running for it he's gonna have some Sparty's cards good. Oh, oh, no. There we go, they got numbers. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, baby. I cannot try to do this to Ares. I want 300 to get another game. You're yeah, saying honey. there's a chance, Annie. Honey, baby. Honey, honey. There, 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 are, there right. are points in the series where momentum can shift. Man, that could be it right there. Oh, this this whole right thing now. could shift right now because of that. So Aries, what are they doing for defense? What, what are they calling out? Well, they need to keep Prod in the middle, or whoever has... Yeah, Prod didn't pick up the bag. So they need some people in the middle, at least one guy flanking them and harassing them. Because it's mm-hmm. not... Mm-hmm. They're not setting mm-hmm. up. They need to set up their defense, and we're all grouped up. You know, we got... Mm-hmm. Agree. Well, they are I definitely right now holding out Drip, who is just being super aggressive the whole yeah. series, and is doing a fantastic job and not letting them play. Yep. So they know he's around. So what are they doing? They are pulling out the gas, the smoke. Yes, I'm exactly sorry. Right. Smoke. And, 
the smoke. Yeah, he's you, going... Oh, oh he went. 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 He that was a good shot. I think. Oh wow! Thirty-five I, points. They're gonna need a couple oh, minutes here. Epic. They need to set up. They can't play like this. Yeah, I, they won't win this. Yeah, you're right. exactly right. Trip is just keeping them on their heels, and they can't get set down. Yeah, yeah. Even though, you know, they're asking them for sure. They just gotta make sure the bag has this with his alloy, and then Trip just gonna put that away. Oh, that's just changed it. I might have missed Ooh. something, had to switch something up here because they're both playing Karen, so I would have to watch the recordings of that game on the area. I don't know if it was Drip or it was Asian. And I don't know who's using the smoke, the yeah, smoke counters as a mat, but yeah, it gives yeah. Sharon an advantage because he can come and Tomahawk you in the smoke, so I don't know if it's the best idea that 300's using that right now. Are they a Miro? Are they a Miro? I don't know who's Yeah, they're trying to use gas to negate the knife. Fresh panda. Bag going down, bag going down. Bag's going down, they got three people. They're pretty bad. They're pretty bad. That's it. Nope, he's just got it. And that's it. That's it. Look at that. All game. And... There's the dance. Wow. Whoa. That's the dance. Whoa. Players on the, in the community and it really showing that he is a vet when it comes down to gameplay. War US takes the finals against 300 with a sweep. What an unbelievable show out. I mean, 300 coming in, they didn't lose a game until they got to the finals. War ended up just sweeping them. Griezmann, Drugs Bunny actually ended up sitting for this. But uh, Youth, 11, Trip, everybody fantastic job you, you guys are beasts individually and you guys have shown to be a behemoth yep. of a team here mm -hmm. obviously you have a lot of accolades but showing up and taking the first iron mm -hmm. forge tournament the crucible congratulations okay. congratulations to our number two 300 og as well sparty spartan hool riker prodigy trash panda laz everybody on this uh 300 og spot uh, uh squad has really shown up as well congrats mm -hmm. to the winners both very good, very good. Yeah, man, mm -hmm. what a what a fucking game, dude. And that I can hear really already good. people jumping in. I guess those are some of the players that are just playing yeah. in the finals. Who do we Mr. have in Trash here? Mr. Trash Panda, Mr. Trash Panda, how you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm doing, bud. <laughs> Lost, man. <laughs> Good games, good games, man. For Laz sure. and Trash, welcome to the booth here. Um, congrats on uh, making it thus far. I believe you guys didn't even lose a game until you got to the finals, and you ended up going down with the sweep. How did it feel to go against this uh, this squad, this War U.S. squad? We played them so much. We knew they were a really good squad. Um, they kind of threw a wrench into our expected plans by having Asian in there instead of drugs. And their uh, their charts were definitely giving us some problems, but we know they play well, and uh, they showed up today, and we just couldn't quite get our stuff together. But it was still some really fun games, and I couldn't have been happier to play against any other team in the final. Yeah, you guys are the top two squads in the U.S., and it was really fun to see you guys in the finals. That's what you guys deserve. Yep. Well done. Mr. Laz, Mr. Laz. How you feeling, what's man? up? What's up? Hey, I got to echo what Trash said. Uh, I'm proud of our team. And, you know, it's, it's tough to lose, even if it's to some that have family over there on the other side, you know. Congrats to War. They played great. The the two Sharons really took – we had some good steam going. Felt like we were, we were playing match for match with them in the first couple. The Sharons stealing it from us at the end just kind of took the wind out of our sails and we couldn't catch up and then war put the put a put her throat on you know foot on our throat yeah give, give yeah credit, you know yeah, yeah, Laz, I, I got a question for you oh, go ahead, yeah. Harry. no i was just gonna say you know you're down 2-0 you're down 3-0 what are you telling your guys because i can already hear you in my ears i just want to know <laughs> so the world knows you know we actually were just trying to uh just talk about how with that very thing like guys it, you know we're letting you know we're not having a very short memory we're letting some of those time close wins that get you know got away from us in game one game two kind of pull over and you know, they crushed us in game three and uh we're like we're letting that peel over let's just take one game time get our swag back here we got this you know and uh again even you know even in three of the four games we get the bag back get it to our side get it protected 
the, the double sharing thing, we just didn't have an answer for it. Tasian and trip running around and, you know, with the rest of them causing distractions, it just, it just hurt us. It, it got us no doubt. So, so would you say the double Karen or Sharon, uh, was, <laughs> Karen's uh, right. <laughs> the, the biggest problem for you in this match, or, or would you say there's something else that really gave you some issues? Or some they gave us a lot of trouble in a lot of areas. Uh, I just felt like at the crucial moments, the double Karen crippled us to the point of no return for sure. Was that why you guys adjusted towards the gas and the the smoke? On the yeah, yeah, yeah we did yeah. absolutely. I uh, on that point, I got to give Trip some props. He, uh, when I had the bag, he shot me in the right. smoke with that SMS. I was, I, was I did not know how he got you. I don't yeah, understand that. All of a shot by Trip. I mean, yeah. amazing, shit. amazing. <laughs> I do not know how he got you. Well, if there are any ward guys that want to join the booth and talk to us, because um, Congress, to you guys, you're the champions of the first edition. Of That's this right. um, Iron Forge tournament, um, big uh, props to you guys. You played amazing. Um, Tajan and Trip, heads up. Um, I don't want to be on the other side uh, when two Charons or Charons mm. or Harons uh, run around <laughs> killing <laughs> killing guys like that. That was an amazing job on uh, on on area on all the maps. Not letting uh, 300 get into rhythm. So if you want to join, maybe Griezmann, he was here before. Maybe Absolutely. Youth 11, Drip, um, you, we waiting for you guys. You know, uh, Dory, we we had been watching all day together, and one of the people, one of the players that stick out to me is Griezmann, actually, as uh, a candidate for really creating opportunities capitalizing on moments and just being a solid person that creates moments that makes stuff happen, but also holds down the fort when they really need it. Uh, he's, he's up there as a candidate for MVP. I'm thinking about other people, uh, youth really just holding it down. 11, the soldier of soldiers on the field, Tajian coming in as the sub and really stepping it up and trip just coming, pulling shit. I don't even know how he does it. I mean, it's, it's really amazing to see these, these spectacular individual players also play on a spectacular team together. And I mean, 300, and we're talking about 300 guys. This is no uh, easy task. You know, this Sparty, Hula right, right. Prodigy, Trash Panda, Laz. I mean, we can, right. these are the people that are feared. And so it's really saying something when, um, when work can come out on top in the way that they did. No, yeah, credit oh. going. We got sweet, no excuses, and doesn't matter if games are close. We don't take moral victories around here. So yeah. all credit, credit to war for sure. Yeah, they did a great job tonight. They really Absolutely. did. And I'm, and I'm, uh, I'm a five hundred dollars richer. Just so you, <laughs> you bitch. Uh, <laughs> What's five hundred for Daddy Aries? I mean, come <laughs> on, really. <laughs> It's, so, uh, it's in my opinion always very hard to find an MVP uh, because we all know this right. is a game that we play as five or even more people uh, right. registering as a 10-12 squad team but on the field there have to be five guys being one team and I agree Griezmann is in every uh, case if he was playing as Loy uh, Moses Shield or the Diana in this one he was very helpful to the team in this last match she had 13 kills but I mean the whole effort, Trip, Tajan, Vam, the Eleven, they just they were just a really good unit today. Yeah. They were the, a team on the they were all on the same page. So for me, the whole team is a MVP, but it's up to you guys who you want to give it to. <laughs> yeah, I agree. War squad MVP completely. And let's not forget drugs who uh subbed out for this finals, but uh he allowed Yeah, we the, saw him in the live the chat. He's pretty proud right now. He's pretty yeah. proud. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure he yeah. is. I mean Beautiful job. Amazing job. Incredible. Yeah, Lance, maybe you want to uh, summarize a little bit um, how you feel about this tournament, what has been done. Of course, you could not be in the booth uh, today because you were playing and you wanted to concentrate and be there for your team, which you definitely were. Um, but now is the time to, to speak up, my friend. <laughs> Yes, I will say uh, today was bittersweet. The whole thing has been bittersweet, but I will say uh, the biggest win I feel like has been for the, the community as a whole. And I'm really proud of this whole Iron Forge team that did what they did in the face of a little bit of adversity at times, but 
to put together the partnership and to put the program together and the show together like y'all did and for the community to respond in such a way to participate and be a part of it, even if you didn't like everything that was going on the whole time, you still came up, you showed up, you showed out. And uh, as tough as the losses I just took, I'm also like heart warmed at the finality of what happened and the win of Iron Forge and, and the way that war took the tournament. It, it was just, it was phenomenal. I'm humbled to be a part of it. And I uh, just want to thank everybody that was involved from the Iron Forge staff to the teams, to the, to the fans and, and everybody in between. It was super exciting, and it's only just the beginning. We're going to keep this stuff going. It's the beginning of an era, and uh, we're going to keep it going, as, as Laz said, with much more to come, unique events, different tournaments, exhibitions. You know, We're open, and we're looking forward to that, and we appreciate everybody who's contributed to uh, the back end, the front end, all ends. We appreciate everybody <laughs> a part of this, and we have quite a bit of people. And, uh, <laughs> thanks for Dory for showing up, the the beast, the legend, and uh, helping us out here. Uh, congrats to War US, the winner of the inaugural Iron Forge tournament, the Crucible. Hey, Excellent man. job, everybody. Hats off. Hats off to War. We didn't give a special thank you to our our partners and and sponsors. I don't know that two million uh, in gold has ever been ascertained that I'm aware of in terms of a prize pool. And so for those that they were they were donating and, and are part of the sponsorship and given given the ability for us to be able to provide this for the community, obviously we couldn't do it without you as well. Absolutely, a lot of people put it up uh, their hard earned money to be able to uh, offer this and their hard earned time. You know. Uh, it, it's, it's our passion for this game that keeps us going and we want to keep this community strong as Laz said and, and go forward with events like this uh, no this is a great tournament I don't think anybody since Fight Club has you know done had, a, had done it better so yeah I agree with you D-Dub and, and I think that's where we were kind of jumping off of that and in uh, nostalgia of Fight Club because we all missed it, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. those times, and so we want to bring it back. Gonna do yeah, that. and they were a great Absolutely. resource for us for this for this tournament. Absolutely. Absolutely, for sure. Okay. Well, that's going to be us signing off here. Iron Forge, the Crucible is wrapped up. War US on top. 300 OG, second place. And we got Valhalla, third place, and SM fourth. What an amazing day. We really appreciate all the squads showing up, all the people yeah, that are contributing to this. Go ahead, Emmy. Before we go off, let's tell everyone the prizes that each team wins. Oh, yeah, that's great. Well, oh, it's an announcement. Absolutely. So War US gets 500,000 gold, half a million. That sounds like uh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> half a million. There's two uh, max operators there. How much and, is that in euros? Uh, <laughs> who knows? Um, three hundred thousand goes to war. Or sorry, uh, three hundred OG for second place. One hundred and fifty thousand goes to Valhalla for third place, and one hundred thousand goes to SM showing up and getting that fourth place in the semifinals. Final four here. All right. That is going to be us signing off here. We will see you next time. Keep looking out for the announcements. Subscribe to the YouTube. Check us out. We're going to be posting on Instagram. We're going to have new things coming up. We're going to take a little breather for a second, but it's going to be a quick second because there's going to be new ideas, new things, fun things, unique things, and we're going to bring it here to you guys in this community. We care about you guys. We appreciate you guys. Let's do it together. Love it. Duma. <laughs> iron sharp Duma. iron. Duma. 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 Iron sharp iron. Yeah. Let's make it better together, baby. Let's go. Let's Thanks, guys. It. See you. Talent, let's send us off with that vid.